and we are live all right what is up beautiful people welcome to the frost and fist i'm wolf brother mythos kush and i am el frico and welcome to the show Guys, we've got a great show for you tonight. We've really been excited about this one. You can tell from our goofy-ass thumbnail that there's been a lot of excitement. We are so pumped for this. So uh, much buzz. Buzz, 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 buzz. We're going to have a live tutorial. And if this goes well, this may be the first of more to come. Guys, please give a warm welcome to our guest, Oni Studios. Woo! What's up, guys? <laughs> Oni, my brother, introduce yourself and let them know who you are as a hobbyist. Let them know what you got for Poke Chat. And I like so, Poke <laughs> So actually, it's I've been in the hobby for two and a half years now. So not that long. Uh, wait, wait, did you say two and a half years? Yeah. So you've been yep. in this bit like half as long as me and you're already painting amazing yeah. faces? <laughs> well, see, the thing is... Um, I took art classes, so I have a background in art. So, like, I, I've dabbled in painting. So, <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Well, if you're a professional artist, I won't feel so bad. <laughs> Not professional. <laughs> no, no, no. That. I said He's if you're a professional artist, I won't oh. feel so bad. It made me feel bad. All He's right. Professional. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So I interrupted you, my man. Tell us a little bit about your hobby journey. What you started with. What got you in. So, um, I've always wanted to get into Warhammer since I was a little kid. Uh, parents couldn't afford it. So, uh, yeah, two and a half years, uh, I was like, all right, it's time to get into it. So, you know, mm -hmm. picked up, uh, start collecting boxes of Chaos Space Marines, but I turned them into world leaders. So that's my main, you know, <laughs> right and, on. uh, went, uh, started with, uh, Dark Angels after that and, uh. Starting a Blood Angels so now. Two Chaos Armies. Yeah. <laughs> Chaosy. Yeah. Oh, well, you've been doing a hell of a job, man. And you do commissions too? Yeah. Do I, I haven't done them in a while, though, but yeah. Because I have when seen they come, some they of do your work. <laughs> you do some really, really clean work. Definitely. Yes. And you know what? I a lot think of time in practice, started... man. I think when I started doing commissions too, that kind of sped along my painting journey too, because, um, you know, you, you're always pushing yourself to do, do well for whoever's work you're doing. Right. Yeah. So I think that same thing helped me. Obviously, you know, you've, you've done really well as a commission painter because we've seen what kind of gorgeous work you've turned out. Uh, and if we were any kind of professional prepared show, we probably would have prepared a slideshow of what kind of work you can print out. <laughs> But being that we're not. No, no, we're not. <laughs> Just winging it. <laughs> the total oversight. That was about my third time of saying, yeah, we've seen what kind of gorgeous work you can do. I was like, what you <laughs> they wanted to see what kind of gorgeous work you can do. <laughs> All right. Well, we're off to a really strong start tonight's professional yeah. level show, guys. <laughs> we got this. Well, we usually like to start with hobby updates for this week, my man. And since we're already talking about you, do you mind sharing what you've been up to lately? Uh, so uh, this whole week, I've just been trying to finish that Mephisto model for the uh, painting composition that's going on tomorrow. And uh, um, I was actually working on an executioner because uh, I'm entering two different categories. So the Mephisto is going to be the single unit, the single model. Um, category and the ex executioner was going to be for the large uh, scale model, but uh, that's all I got done for it. So that's definitely not going to be <laughs> that's definitely not going to be in in the enter tomorrow. So instead, I'm um, entering my bloodthirster. Wow! Very cool. Wow, what was dude. that you had for the base of your uh, executioner there? Is that the base that comes with it? Yeah, that's the base that comes with it. The, uh, okay. Little clear. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I don't know if I know where my piece for that is. Because <laughs> I, I was just thinking the other day, I'm like, how am I going to attach this repulsor to the base? And when I saw that yeah. part on it, I'm like, that part looks perfect. What is that part? <laughs> 
I was a little bit confused when I saw it in there. I was like, I was like what is this used for? And I actually looked at the instruction booklet. Was, oh, okay. <laughs> My instruction booklet is uh, send model to um, Richard at the Nerd Life. Wait <laughs> later. So that's my instruction manual. Pretty much. Yeah. Right. So I, I I wish we had a picture of your Mephiston on hand. I really am excited to see how that does in the painting competition because your Mephiston looks amazing. Oh, we do. We do. We do, ladies and gentlemen. We I took sent a some... couple of videos to Brother Freak. Yep. Got some really cool pics. Uh, so we I was gonna share them uh, during our art of the week, but we can do them now, whatever. No, we can do. We, we can wait. I'm gonna either way. <laughs> We can wait. Uh, oh, don't show up. But, you know what? I think, that, I think that's a pretty good uh, us talking since we're talking about him as a hobbyist and we're talking about his uh, competition tomorrow. Let's see what he's working with. Sounds great. Stand by. Thought you were going to get out of it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> While you pull that up, I do want to uh, give a shout out to these amazing brothers in the chat we got. Uh, and, you know, if there are any ladies watching, amazing sisters. Uh, but we've got the best <laughs> next Dan Skull who set an alarm. Good evening, lads. Wow. Uh, man, that is so awesome to have you with us, man. I hate cutting into your sleep, but we love when you're here. We just love um, you. That's just, just love you. We got Hellworks says, what's howling? Running Bear says, hi as all. Hello. My favorite long things right there. Uh, Inquisitor Zane, our brother says, sup, can't stay for long, but definitely need to watch the upload to get them face painting tips. Awesome. Good to see you, Zane, man. And, you know, even though you can't stay for the whole thing, glad that you're here, man. Uh, happy freaking Friday. We got the X-Gear Commander. Running Bear is just chilling. Zane says, one off from being the glasses and beard gang. Yeah, you, you put yourself smooth, freak. <laughs> Right? That's part of the hobby update right there. I was loving the beer, man. <laughs> it's going to come back. Uh, I, I had to do it because I was having some problems with my CPAP machine. Because, you know, I, I'm, uh, you know I, I have sleep apnea, and so it was leaking like a sift. I was having a hard time. So uh, I'm going to regrow it again, but this time I'm going to try to keep it nice and trimmed where I won't have that issue. So Yeah, we definitely you don't want you to stop breathing while you sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Get rid of that salt and pepper that I saw on Saturday. <laughs> right. <laughs> wow. Thanks, man. Thanks for making me super old. Great. Now you and Mithos are on my mind. About that. All right. Got it in stereo now. Where is my freaking mute button? All right. Let's All see. Right. Wolf Wraith. We have an, another amazing painter in the chat. Wolf Wraith says, oh, damn. Oh, Excuse yeah. Yeah, Wolf Wraith. Dude, he's a beast. Uh, Weather Pig says i see that unicorn poster that's the first thing i pointed out too my man i saw that Big in the background gundam like, oh, unicorn gundam. <laughs> and then i have gundam zero zero right here which a big head's um, blocking it <laughs> <laughs> uh, which i don't think it's on that poster but uh double o you know from uh similar set double o riser is my favorite so i always notice the unicorn when i see it because my brother raz dark light dreamer um, that's his favorite, and then um, so I always notice it whenever we're playing a game like Dynasty Warriors or anything like that. He always goes straight for the uh, unicorn, and I always go straight for the double O. Uh, that's Ryzen. one thing I miss. It's the the Dynasty Warriors Gundam games. I wish they'd yes, bring those, those back. Are so good. <laughs> they do need to come back. Um, let's see. <laughs> Uh, talking about uh, you being in the hobby so uh, in such a short amount of time, being such a great painter, Zane says, I hate him already. <laughs> Heresy. Heresy. I think he was um, talking about my army choice. <laughs> could be that too. <laughs> that is definitely, both of them are heresy. I joke, I joke. I don't mean to find something like that, but, you know, Dark, I actually uh, like especially the 30K Dark Angels. Running Bear says, I hope with all the weather last week, um, all are doing better. Or under the weather last week, all are doing better. I'm doing better. Freak is sounding better for sure. Um, I think I think we're doing we're doing good. I'm probably not uh, looking as better because I shaved, but I, that's kind of that's gonna come back. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's I feel naked now. So yeah. although we're better now, unfortunately, uh Dark Light Dreamer is out with the flu right what? now. So I don't know. You know, it's just Everybody's going down. Dang. 
No bueno. Atomic Dog says, hang in there, Steve. Good to see you, my man. Miniatures Paintbrush, another amazing painter. This howdy Rob. all. Rob, how you doing? How you doing, Rob? The nice bloodthirster. Uh, bloodthirster heresy makes Inquisitor sad. <laughs> mm -hmm. Weatherpig says, good day. Good day, mate. That's, that's for you, Colin. Wolfman heck is gone. Wolf Ray says, still here, just lurking away. <laughs> that's okay, man. We appreciate you lurking and all. We just like having you around. Absolutely. I think pretty much all of us in this have uh, beards and glasses kind of comes with a hobby. Yeah. <laughs> ah, Gundam 00 Exia is Weatherpig's favorite. Nice. Nice. Uh, Weatherpig says he needs glasses now. Yeah. <laughs> all this talk of our armies x gear commander says go blood angels hey i like the blood angels too they're pretty cool right on all right speaking of blood angels since i started mine and then now they're coming out all these new dark angel stuff i'm kind of you're a bit of my, yeah <laughs> no dude don't do yeah. it no <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit annoyed <laughs> a little bit annoyed <laughs> all right well let's let's showcase this since we're, we're still in the blood angels yeah, so let's... yeah. Still, Especially still... since he'll be our tutorial master exactly. later on. So let's show he, what he can do. Here we go, guys. This is again, gosh. All right, I'm this is where I'm burning all my brushes here. Uh let me put some sexy music because we need that. <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah. That's that's sexy music right there, guys. Should As pop up. says, oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. Oh <laughs> yeah. This there's wood. Dude. Uh, great highlights, especially on that white, man. White's a difficult color to highlight. Gorgeous. To make it look gorgeous, good. Gorgeous. gorgeous so gorgeous. that white, it's not really white. It's Celestra uh, Gray. Are you uh, talking about uh, for the skull? No, for, the, for uh, the, uh, the, uh, the pauldron. Oh, the okay. Wings. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, that's Celestra Gray with uh, Ulsan Gray. Um, also, also, also in gray. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I'm seeing all these comments, bro. Uh, Hellworks, uh, Hellchild by Hellworks goes, throws brushes on Freak's burn oh, yeah. pile. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, oh my god. I knew this was going to happen, bro. Oh my uh, god. Crackling right. power sword effect looks amazing. Oh, freaking well, sick. I, I, you, you know, know, one of my. See, that power sword that was my first time doing it that way i was i was just like experimenting with it i wasn't really expecting it to come out that way <laughs> well if i could just share a little something with you um one of my weaknesses as a hobbyist and painter i feel like has always been i can't do crackling energy like for some reason the random pattern of crackling energy just doesn't compute in my brain <laughs> So, you, you, what, um, so try just holding the paintbrush by the end. Oh, wow. And, like, try to run it the way you, like, uh, kind of like, let's try to run it in a line, and it'll do the crackle effect for you, because, you know, you're not holding it, like, how you would nor uh, a normal paintbrush, you're just holding it by the end, so it'll be swaying while you're trying to run a line. So that'll take care of that for you. That's a really good tip. Well, just good relinquish tip. a little control. Yeah. So you let it go all Tourette's on you. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Rick okay. and I were just talking about just, that earlier yeah. this week. You know, just yeah. have it stay on the sword, not not the whole model. <laughs> oh yeah, see that's my problem. I, I usually go Tourette's all over the model. I'm like, okay, oh God, oh God. Oh, God. So yeah, that always messes me up. I get angry. All right, so let's talk more about this here, man. So here is another beautiful. This is a side shot. Oh, I just saw that comment saying barrel, barrel. I know. <laughs> I'm not done. I'm not done with it yet. <laughs> they gave it to grief about the That's barrel. next. Yes, that's next. <laughs> you know, I actually, and 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 actually, I, I think Weatherpig's going to feel uh, picked on here. But actually, I was going to let that slide because it's a plasma pistol. You it know, is, we don't it know is, yeah. how this light energy admits. It might right. just be a lens at the end. Yes. Exactly. Right. 
But I, on one thing I want to point out, this is gorgeous work, especially with the uh, the highlights on the on the, on the cape on the robe. The cape, yes, right. Good. That's one of my favorite things because I, I think <sighs> you remember, like, with me painting black space marines right. for years, right? Um, that figuring, like, I really just fumbled the crap out of my way through trying to figure out how to highlight black right. and make it look decent and i mean you've you've nailed that here yeah yeah that's absolutely beautiful and yeah, as honest, always it's clean if i'm being honest i hate the cape really why, <laughs> I hate it. why? yeah why? i hate it why i just it frustrated me just <laughs> trying to get the highlight on it it frustrated me i i hate it <laughs> Like I, I just feel like going back and repainting it, but what? I'm stopping myself. <laughs> holy cow! Okay, well, one That's man's one trash is like this guy's model. holy crap. Because <laughs> That's the one thing I hate about the model is the cape. Ali. Oh, well, all right. Well, I, that's the one thing I kind of like. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Let's the one see. thing. The one no, thing not the one thing. thing. No, like you shut. Don't, don't you? Don't that's not what I meant. Like don't you put words in my mouth? <laughs> that's not what I. Oh, I hate you. Where's the mute button? <laughs> oh. All right, here's another side view. This is this is just beautiful because every highlight, every little, oh my God, it's just absolutely fantastical. Gosh, man. Dude, you really did a lot on, on the details, the highlights, and definitely- The fold the, for the cape, or the, clo the red cloak looked good too. Yes. Oh, jeez, man. Definitely some very well detailed, dude. And I love the hair. You've got the, the detail on the hair, the highlights on the hair. Good night. Yeah, I was, the hair was giving me a little bit of trouble because I don't know if I should do it like blonde or like platinum. So I was, <laughs> I was, just reading Inquisitor Zane's comments. I don't oh, like I it. I don't like it. <laughs> it makes me want to die in a fire with my paints and minis around me, <laughs> right? With 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 uh, we call it with nice sad uh, score of music, you know, played by violins and cellos. Yes. Like uh, the ending of Hulk when he's just walking down the road. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah right. a sad music. <laughs> sad music. Oh my gosh, dude. Just uh this one's for you, Freak. Weather Pig says Mythos is trying to make Freak look like the bad guy to compensate for bullying guests in the past. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? I have to agree with you there, man. I'm with you on that. Because he's been giving me grief. So yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Thanks, Kyle. You know what? Screw this guy. <laughs> <laughs> the point <laughs> oh man dude i'm serious dude you you just very clean work and i i'm i'm really glad that you're entering this uh into the competition i i really do believe you're you're gonna get something out of this dude it's just gorgeous and, gorgeous work and of course self-serving Let, let's take a look at the focus for tonight the face right there you can see all the details on mephiston's face definitely definitely you know that's not my favorite part of the model the face is it's it's the blood vials that's my yes. favorite part yeah, yeah. The blood that's what i like the most yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's so cool because if you look at the box art for it um they they're not going in that direction that i have it that's what kind of annoyed me a little bit i was like what if it's dangling they wouldn't be going that way <laughs> Like, they need to they need to, they need to get their act together <laughs> so you showed them you showed them <laughs> yeah if you see that front vial on the plasma pistol yeah yeah that little glare that's actual white paint on there oh wow so that's that's same thing same thing with reflection. the vials by the 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 robe i did right. a little white streak white streak very nice to do a reflection here it is um at uh tabletop length so you have an idea you can kind of see oh my god i just realized what that particular shade of blonde reminds me of mm. the shape of the hair and that particular shade reminds me of my being a kid in the 80s and watching he-man <laughs> oh wow yeah 
There you go. You stirred up some childhood memories there. Good job. <laughs> hey, I, 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 that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is great. Oh, man. Um, let me do another view. This is the back end. And I like to show both, both, you know, both sides because, you know, it's, it's easy to, when you zoom in, you kind of see all the little, um, details, but really w what a mini supposed to look like is within around three feet. Yes. Two to also three feet. Also, Street Fighter. Sorry. So, the yes, the Ken from Street end. Fighter. He does look like Ken from Street Fighter. Oh my gosh. The back end is my favorite view as well. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yep. Dude, that's that's gorgeous work. Indeed. And that is the man we have doing a tutorial tonight. So that'll Heck be cool. Yes. Gorgeous, gorgeous work, man. Hey, puppy baby. <clears throat> Bye, puppy. Stop calling me names. <laughs> Time. He just tries to tries to make me feel inferior. All right, I'm gonna catch up on the chat real quick. Uh, let's see. Atomic Dog is at the bench painting minis, listening to us. No weird stuff, okay? <laughs> Sorry, man. You know that's not how it's gonna go. Yeah, never gonna happen, bro. Uh, let's see. Uh, hobby butterfly, Oni. Are you a hobby butterfly? Because I know I definitely am. Hobby butterfly. Yep. Do you jump from project to project? Oh yeah. yeah oh yeah. Um, so I actually started a towel army as well. That was the third time. That's the third army that I started on. I, I thought we were uh, gonna be friends, bro. I thought we were gonna be friends. Uh, no, so, no. <laughs> it's not white. It's orange and black. So I kind of like it. There, there are no finished models. <laughs> I'll, let's leave it at that. <laughs> there, there's some that I've started that's I'll just leave it at that they've been started on <laughs> hey, I'm into that. I think the only person I, I can think of and you guys correct me in the chat I think the only person in, in this chat right now that's not a hobby butterfly is Freak will usually stay on target until he's finished with something yeah, and brother Rob is, you know, a bit OCD about it. He yep. likes to finish whatever he's working on before he starts the next thing. Yeah. He's actually uh, working on three projects right now. And even that's a little overwhelming for him because, you know, he's just that he's that guy. You know, he likes to knock out a project before moving on to the next one. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there's like the, the rest of us in this chat that have like a minimum of 43 projects going on at the same time. <laughs> Some people function well doing that, and I, that's and that's okay. I I don't. I can't. I I I just don't. I know that if I if I pick something and then I start on something else, it will never get done. I, I will. I just don't have. I have to stay focused on the one thing. I have to finish it, and then I can move on. I have to feel accomplished, and then I can move on to the next thing. So, yeah, it's, yeah it's I usually issue. work like on six projects at a time because my Holy backlog God. is humongous. <laughs> <laughs> trying to whittle it away. GW is not helping with all these new models coming oh, out. I know, and man. they're all so gorgeous. Yeah. And Running Bear, this is the, the new Mephiston model that came out recently, <laughs> not the old one. Jeez. Archer says, do some flesh terrors. Thomas says, throws brushes on Freak's burn pile, which we uh, read <laughs> earlier, but I want to follow it up with Oni saying that he's uh, he's only been doing it two and a half years, but he has an art background. Thomas says, I've been painting 30 years with an art background. <laughs> and then he says, pours gas on the burn pile. <laughs> I'm with you, bro. I'm with you. Yep. Running Bear says, love the way you made the face look very well done. Thank um, you. Oh, this is actually a good time for a tip. Uh, Weather Pig says, how do you get a space marine that bright? And, and your uh, blood angel there is nice and vibrant. What's your secret? So... What? Is that picture your... that picture freak actually made it brighter uh the original picture it's a little bit darker uh, let me find the original picture i, I don't I, I don't know if i still have it let me see well all i did was just I, I just yeah i just brighten it but you can see here's the model yeah 
it's not that bright. I right, won't focus. Yeah, it's not that bright. Also, probably the the being surrounded with the white background also right. probably color balances a little yeah. brighter too. Yeah. Okay. But with proper lighting, I, it's it looks pretty good. It looks really freaking amazing. Oh, I mean, it looks amazing. Yeah. Um, let's see. <laughs> <Right here. laughs> Fake news. <laughs> Uh, Brother Pig says there will be some mean barrel drilling soon. Don't worry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Running Bear says there's truth is slowly getting better with technique, and there are just people with talent. With most of us, we fall in to we fall into talent. What talent? Uh, we fall into talent, and then of course, there's some that are born with the talent, like Oni here. Yup. Yup. Uh, let's see. Uh, we talked about Zane with the uh, fire with his paints and uh, minis around. <laughs> Comic Dog says, talent, I'm still trying to get some talent. <laughs> Zane says he always bullies the guests. Thomas says, GW sells talent at $99.99 a bottle for a two-ounce size. Is that how much normal it is? <laughs> Um, let's see. I think I'll just whoop, whoop, cat chat. What are you doing? Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, Tom Dawes says, I think I'll just paint my space Marines, uh, black, like snake eyes from GI Joe. Oh, that's <laughs> hey, pretty that cool. Sounds Keep like my simple. first time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Rob says he paints the white the same way. Uh, easiest way to paint white is light gray. True. Uh, with the brushes, Dan says, call me and we can burn them together. <laughs> <laughs> we all, we'll, we'll just have a burning party. <laughs> and uh, and Hell Child, I use black for prime. That's all black prime. Ah, oh, there we go. I find it interesting, though. By the way, guys, um, I, if y'all have y'all, if y'all seen the, um, um, the, uh, the little showcase that I did uh, for the, the the dreadnought that he painted for me, he primed that sucker black. He started it he black. yellow over it. Yeah, which is it's a mind blowing for me, guys. Because I mean, I've learned that you when you you're painting a lighter color, you always want to start with a gray or you know some kind of in between color or lighter color uh, for as a as a ba as a prime or base. <coughs> he started black. I'm like, wow. That's you know you, you know freak you know you gotta you got you gotta let them drop once in a while and just take the plunge you know. <laughs> wow, <laughs> I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Talking about uh, too many projects like, on the go. go for it. <laughs> Zane says he started a full Nerf <laughs> army, a Death Guard army, a Chaos army, just trying to take a break from painting mini marines. I feel that I've only done about twenty. Uh, Archer says going from project to project makes it so I don't burn out near as often. Amen to that. Yeah. Uh, I get unmoded fairly regularly. That's also wow. fair. I put up a meme this week of a cat laying on a couch that says, uh, me, my, uh, me during work, I can't wait to get home and be so productive and do everything. And then it shows the cat on the couch is like, me after I get home. I'm like, <laughs> you know, that, that is the death of my motivation all the time. Like, you get done that with your work. That was me this week on trying to get the executioner done. I'd get home and start playing video games. <laughs> yep. Yep. I, I've been telling my wife all week. Like, <laughs> yeah. Right. IT yeah. does that to you. Yeah, it does, dude. It just burns you out, man. I mean, you're. Dealing with, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Running Bear says, I've been at this since the 80s, and I think I've only really ever finished one army. 2,500 points of the 13th Company. Hey, that's a hell of an army that's to do, That's a heck man. of an army, bro. 13th Company, my yeah. favorite uh, company of Space Wolves. I only have one complete army. That's World Ears. I've started a whole bunch oh. of other armies. So. <laughs> Damn. Hey. Comic Dog says that's a beautiful piece, Oni. 
Rob you? says my three projects are 1.2k points of flesh eaters. Uh, oh no, I'm sorry. Project number one, 2k points of flesh eaters. Project number two is a Night Titan. Project number three is Logan Grimnar. Yes. Wow. That's enough for my nice. place. Oh my god, I can't wait to see Logan Grimnar. <laughs> gonna do a Logan. I'm excited. Huh? All I right. just. I just yeah. popped a little nerd boner, guys. Yeah, me too. I'm <laughs> definitely gonna be burning. See, my... I've always wanted to pay a, a paint a Titan, but I don't. At the same time, I don't want to do it. <laughs> Why? They, it's, they it's amazing. It's a big model, man. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I mean, the bigger the model, the more control you have. That is <clears> true. <throat> you, you know that bloodthirster I pulled up a while yeah. ago? It was sitting on my shelf for a year and a half before I actually put paint on it, and then wow. three months before I actually put detail on it after wow. I put the base coat. <laughs> Dang, dude. Man, you're, just, man, it looks great, too. It's Holy just... I, it's just the big model is... The big model is just... Uh, it's threatening. <laughs> <laughs> so it stares at you like, oh, come at me, bro. You're like... No, I, that's why I put off my first night for so long. But I, yeah. in the end, when I took the plunge... I, I love the way it came out. Yeah, same here. Even though I had to have a freak doctor up my base. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about uncompleted projects, Thomas says pushes a box of kit bashes under the desk. Nothing? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing? Rob says when it comes to talent, I have none, but I work tire tirelessly to improve constantly. Gotta go, guys. Later, Inquisitor Zane. Brother Rob, definitely, man, you, you have definitely pushed that improvement envelope because your work is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, absolutely. Your hard work is taking you far. Brother Meeks is in the house. What, what is up, my brother? Good to see you. <clears throat> Meeks clapped them cheeks. For them <laughs> Freaking say. <laughs> Always. Oni, have you ever tried to prime in alternate colors like brown for red or yellow? Not really, but I'll look into that. Huh. I've seen um, Big McDan School actually do that with some of his Imperial Fists, and I gotta say, it's actually an impressive. Uh, it's he, it was like a red brown kind of primer he got from his uh, hardware store, and actually that worked really good at shading. It worked really good. It worked really well at shading his Imperial Fists. Mm -hmm. So he started with that red brown, and then he did his yellow kind of on top. You know. Okay. <laughs> Oh my God, hmm. uh, Wolf Wraith! I think just he must have an achievement unlock button somewhere in his room. He says, <laughs> as someone who has painted a Warhound Titan by brush, it's worth it. What? Holy crap. Oh Jesus! <laughs> by brush. What a uh, paintbrush? Like you know, big flat. Uh, what? That's insane. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Uh, that's that, that's a hell of an achievement. Yeah, it is. That's epic, bro. What? Uh, Ar Archer says he's going to kit bash a Grey Knight Chaplain while watching the stream tonight. And James Meek nice. is working on his kill team that Big D set him up with for a list. Nice. Weatherpig says there's a ge genetic predisposition to talent, but there's always a gene environment... <laughs> interaction the most artistic advantage means nothing without practice indeed true indeed what i found for a good way to paint yellow is starting with white primer and took an old chestnut ink over the model really gives a cool yellow <laughs> <laughs> wolf wraith says nope by a normal brush gives dead eye stare, dead eye stare. <laughs> 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 Whew. I, 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 you are the master, sir. You are not <laughs> Freak, what did you have yesterday, my brother? What you got That's exactly what I was thinking, too, bro, uh, Brian. Get a, go to Home Depot and get a house paintbrush. That's what I'd be doing. I've had uh, painting, <laughs> painting a Titan by Roller. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it looks good to me. Just all done. All done. <laughs> Drop the brush. Right? It's like, <laughs> it's in the hole. It's in the hole. It's in the hole. <laughs> So I have been, uh, uh, I've been trying to work on my, my Centurion still plug it away. I put, I definitely, uh, dropped the, um, dropped the, the, the black for the, for the metallics on all of them. And I already started working on metallics. 
um, and on some of the gold. I started laying that down, and I'm almost actually almost finished with them. Um, I should be done by this weekend. I'm hoping to be completed by this weekend, and I can just finish off the bases. Um, and then, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty close to being finished, and then uh, I can actually start on Tour Garden. Um, nice. Oh, and I did make a change. Um, let me raise this so you guys can hear it. Okay. So, so last last time we, we had our stream, uh, I introduced one of the songs that I wrote. Um, the the song was it's okay, but I wasn't crazy about the uh, the drum loop that I had in there. It was kind of distracting. It sounded <laughs> I was just sharing it with Steve here at Oni Studios. And uh, it, it, he agreed. It kind of sounds like, you know, someone needs to change the 9-volt battery off of the smoke detector. Cause it was going <laughs> so now I, I, I was able to uh, get some really good, very well-sampled professional drum loops that I was able to put in. And now it actually sounds, you know, like a song. You know, it sounds so much better, though. So nice rocking feel to it so and that that i worked on uh so pretty proud of that um i've got some other projects to uh, that i need to work on but i've got i got a i got some stuff that i have to focus uh on primarily i've got a bat rip that i've got to finish and i've got a i've got to finish these centurions those are my two main focals things so and oh and the, the don't forget the third one we talked about right 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 so yeah i know that's that's actually gonna that really should be the first so but yep, so that's that's what I got going on, my man. What about you? What you got uh, cooking in that uh, the little pot? And if you don't mind, I'm just going to mention what that third project is since uh, he's here in the chat. I don't want us to think we forgot about him, but that For third uh, project forgot about is who? the Weather Pig response video. And uh, similarly, uh, that is on the docket. I thought I was going to get a chance to work on it sometime this week. <clears throat> But I did not. But uh, my spec response video is going to be. I'm going to work on that sometime this week. We're so bad. Um, back um, my other big hobby update. Uh, Freak, you mind showing that picture I sent you? Yep. Stand by. Uh, so one of the hobby updates I'm most proud of is. Uh, oh God, I have no idea of running bear. At 52. Uh, there's been a lot of brush flicking tonight. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, but uh, I'm, no, I'm my, a brush my, slicker too, so don't don't feel bad. <laughs> oh, brush slickers unite! <laughs> oh man. Um, so one of the things I'm super uh, stoked about is for this hobby update, I found out that my son is back in the hobby, so that's awesome. And uh, nice. here's him. Even though he has his uh, chaos army, he actually started a brand new army this week, and. Uh, there he is, <laughs> and I think uh, our, our our mentor Enoch Beer Forty K would be super stoked to see that he's starting with Necro. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so, yeah, there he is. He, he's super pumped. He, he uh, sent me a picture as soon as he got it, and he said that it's funny. So he said he was at the hobby store, which he's been making friends with the store owner, and. Uh, he had four armies he was considering for starting a new army. So he flipped coins, uh, Dark Eldar versus Eldar, and then Tyranids versus Necrons. And then he flipped coins for the winners of both of those two, and Necrons came out on top. I'm kind of glad he um, went with Necrons versus Tyranid. I'm not a fan of Tyranid. Uh, oh, yeah. And so um, one of the things is that, A, he thought this was good value for a uh, good value for money set. So that's one of the reasons why he was really interested but he said he's really excited that that one run the coin flip because he said and and he never he didn't come right out and say but i think he's a, a little intimidated by the painting side um but he said that he's excited that necrons are going to be relatively easy to paint you know right. or easier to paint um and you know absolutely you know we were talking about all the ways that it could be done black primer and dry brush silver or uh he was th one of the things he considered was just going ahead and you know, spraying them with a silver, like the Grey Knights kind of silver. Uh, and just, you know, I was mentioning that, you know, doing that tends to over brighten the details. So he may want to put in some Nuln oil and, you know, help those details uh, pop out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so, you know, we talked about some ways he could get those painted up quick and easy. And uh, he actually seemed, you know, pretty, pretty excited. So 
I'm just happy he's back in the hobby. I hadn't heard yeah. nothing on this chaos guys for about a year now. So I was, I was <laughs> like, ah, oh, man, it would be nice to have him back in the hobby. But man, he went on his own and picked up some Necrons and I am super pumped. That's cool. So, That's, that was his own yeah. thing, huh? Yeah. That's so I, cool. I was like, oh, your uncle Al is going to be thrilled. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I, you know what? That, that was the first, first non, uh, loyalist army that destroyed me. And I think I might've cheated a little bit too. But yeah, it, it was, that was my first, my first, you know, yeah, my first experience with the Necrons, and I, I was like, okay, um, yeah, so um, you can just, and we're like first or second, first, first or second turn, I'm like, okay, um, you won. Well, no, it's, we're still on turn, turn two. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you for playing me and kicking my butt and making me feel stupid. Bye. So I... <laughs> I told Mythos, I'm like, I did not like playing that. That was, <laughs> that was just, that was horrible. That was, I mean, they, they, they kept getting all these weird, um, I, I forgot what they call them. They, you know, uh, these, I don't know. Back then it was still no pain. Yeah. Like, uh, it wasn't, no, it was something else. They were, um, no, reanimation protocol. Yes, reanimation. Protocol. Yes. I'm like, why the case? Where you roll a six and you bring them back? Yes. Yes, they were like yeah. zombies. Yeah. They were freaking zombies. Although yeah, like... there was a misunderstanding of the rules at first, and I don't think at the time they were able to get to a three plus get back up, but it was being done at the time. Yeah, um, but, I was. You know, we eventually got it all fixed, but man, it was it was rough for a little while there. I was not happy. So while you were talking about getting like your son starting a Necron's army, I actually did start one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. I was trying to bring up my Overlord, but I broke the cape. So I need to fix that. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. I mean, not that you have to fix the cape, but it's cool that you started one. Um, it, if you guys it's just simple. It's only new, black. Uh, if it's you guys have seen the video, you reacts to 40K, my brother Hunter, uh, I gave him my Necron army. And so uh, I guess Darian will be, you know... Uh, following in the footsteps of his uncle there with the Necron. So that'll be cool. Very nice. <laughs> uh, Brother Rob also says reanimation protocol is a pain in the butt. It really is. It definitely I was can. a new... It's worse if you're a new player trying to go in against a Necron for the very <laughs> first time. I was brand spanking new. I may have had two, one or two games before that. No, it was one game. I, I really believe that was like I had a, a demo game with Mythos. I may have had another one, but that right there, that was like, you know, it was traumatic. I think I still have PTSD from it. You know, I'm, uh, oh, yeah. just, just... <laughs> I was telling Darian that uh, Freak <sighs> feel, you know, gets frustrated with um, Necrons the way I get frustrated with Tau. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> like another part of our hobby update, got we got uh, sent uh, twenty of these. Awesome dice from Those are cool. uh, the amazing nice. Battle Report channel, Twisted Dice. So that's pretty cool. I like the color. And, oh yeah, they're such a vibrant green. They're very cool. And, of course, part of Twisted Dice, uh, Ace Face sent one of his dice as well. That was nice. kind of cool. So kind of a swirly blue color with gold tips. Very cool. Hey, can you show the green one again really close, please? Oh, man, you know, it's probably There not you go. Pick. That works. Yeah, yep. oh, actually, that's, that's good. Yep. Yep. Oh, so, very cool. So, I'm going to take 10 and I'm going to give Freak 10, and then we'll each have a set. Yay! Nice. <laughs> Yay! And hopefully, they roll better for me than they roll for Darren. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, they'll roll better for me than my own Imperial Fist dice. So. <laughs> and, you know, that was one of the reasons why I got a double order because I was like, you know what? Freak's dice let him down all the time. <laughs> I'm just going to get a couple extra. <laughs> I thank you for thinking of me. <laughs> oh man, Freak started Tower Army. Mytho started Necron's Army. Let's hear the salt. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, that's. I don't know. I, uh, the only so, time I've ever painted a tower is when it's getting stomped on by one of my one of my <laughs> other loyalists. So. Uh, other than that, though, I haven't had too much hobby update. Oh wait. I did do something last weekend I can share with you guys. Uh, so I only have um, a week left in Big D's uh, deodorant stick challenge. 
but here is my entry so far. Nice. So I honestly have been sitting on this project all month thinking, I don't know what I'm going to do with this project. Mm. Uh, and I've just been staring at it and staring at it and staring at it. And I didn't even take the labels off for the longest time, guys. <laughs> but last Friday or Saturday, Saturday, I think, Big D put out his, reve uh, his uh, reveal video for his completed project. And that's what inspired me because he did his deodorant land speeder not as a land speeder. Mm. I mean, he had, it looks like a land speeder, you know, but he actually is using the profile for a tank commander. So it's a, it's a Lehman Russ. Oh, wow. You know, and it's just shaped as a deodorant land speeder. That's and crazy. that inspired, because you guys know land speeders are not the most exciting thing to put on. I already have two of them. I'm like, why do I want a third land speeder? I mean, <laughs> they just get wrecked turn one. <laughs> uh, so I don't know. I just I couldn't find inspiration in making it a land speeder. Uh, but when I saw that he was using a profile for something else and just letting the deodorant stick be his conversion piece, boom, all of a sudden I had inspiration. So I that night we went through... Uh, my wife and I, we went to go pick up like dog food and stuff like that. And I said, let's go into the Dollar Tree. I know I've got an idea for what I'm looking for now. So I took this piece, front piece and this top piece off of a toy tank from the dollar store. 99 cents. It was 99 cents. Anyways. Um, and I was like, that'll, because one of the things I thought was hard for me to be inspired by was the front portion of the deodorant stick just looks like a flat deodorant stick, right? Right. But I wanted something to actually push out and create a nozzle so it gives it a, a feel, a flyer kind of feel. And I feel like this this uh, top chunk of a tank fender here, uh, you know, kind of is doing the job. I feel like it gives it a nice little nose there. Now, I put this piece on top. Uh, first, I was putting it on top for shape. But looking at the profile, I'm wanting to use this as a stand-in for a Stormhawk Interceptor, right? So... Um, th these up here, I figured, make pretty decent, um, you know, I mean, they look more like heavy stubbers, but I'm planning on using those as my heavy bolters, right? Here, I, I glued on, so these wings are actually part of a Stormfang gunship that I didn't use. I had a couple extra little wings here, and so those became my main body wings. And then I also had a wrecked um, uh, log uh, sled from Logan Grimnar. Because I had bought just the sled. A little some, something, if you don't play Space Wolves, you may not know. It's very unpopular to take Logan Grimnar in his sled in 8th edition. Because if you put him in the sled, people can target him like he's not a character. Um, yeah. So often, your HQ that you spent 300 points on gets blown up turn 1. Um, so a lot of people don't take the chariot. So people will put the chariot on eBay very often and just put the Logan Grimnar figure on a base. And he'll be his Terminator form. So anyways, I bought one of those a while back because I had uh, bought an extra chariot so that way I could have the nerd life convert the wolf head that goes on Logan Grimnar's chariot into a head for my Contemptor Dreadnought, which I stole that idea off Facebook and I absolutely love the look of. Um, but uh, I took the, the little wings from um, that that chariot of Logan Grimnar's and made some tail fins here. Thought that looked pretty cool. And uh, this hatch, no idea what it goes to, but I found it in my bits box. <laughs> uh, it goes to something, but I don't know. I just It's a way for people to get into the speeder, right? And it, gets, it just added some visual interest to make it not a deodorant stick so much. And uh, a long time ago, my very first number one commission was a ghost keel. Uh, and some stealth suits that went well with it. And uh, I had some of these extra little guns here from those stealth suits from years ago. And uh, they're kind of rotary looking. So those are my assault cannons for the Stormhawk Interceptor. So overall, that is my... <laughs> That's my Stormhawk Interceptor. It's got the assault twin assault cannons. It's got the twin heavy heavy bolters and uh brother richard from the nerd life actually has bought um a stormhawk interceptor recently and when he built it he said he's going to go last cannon for the front so he said he hooked me up with the little icarus cannon that goes underneath nice uh so 
awesome. Thank you to the nerd life. That's going to be great. Um, so he's going to hook me up and I will be fully, you know, as far as I will be relatively uh, WYSIWYG there. And then uh, <laughs> I'm back here since I build so many bikes. Uh, I had a couple extra wheels. So I used half a wheel each here for these thrusters. And then this is a uh, five hour energy cap with a, a little wheel bit on the inside there to just serve as my thrusters. And I think once I start painting this bad boy, it won't look so much like a deodorant stick anymore. I think it'll start looking. And I think that it's the jet shape I kind of wanted when I first got inspired by this project. So nice. it's interesting that it wasn't until Big D put up his speeder that I finally just got inspired. And it's like, I know what I want to do. Nice. Also, if you sand this sucker down, I was really, um, to be honest, I was really, um, I, I didn't think that parts were going to glue to a deodorant stick as well as, you know, actual model parts. But I sanded it down and this stuff glued on really well. Uh, by the way, uh, not sponsored, but damn, I sure would be sponsored. That stuff is amazing. I feel amazing. like I've never <laughs> used Arms Keeper glue before. That is my this favorite is my glue. favorite hobby glue ever. Is that the Such thick one? Stuff. Yeah, it's kind huh? of like a little gel. It's it's slightly gelled. Yeah, it's so good, dude. Yeah, I have the... Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> good stuff. Yeah, we get that from the Nerd Life. We order ours directly from him. He is a distributor. So, oh, the guy. Nerd Life is watching. He says you're welcome. Uh, you're more than welcome, amigo. That's awesome. Yeah, he's actually looking forward to uh, checking out the tutorial, man. Yeah, all. so that means... Since uh, we've only got 30 minutes to get through Art of the Week, let me just real quick yep. uh, for the hobby update. I didn't do much painting this week, but what I did do um, was I added a little color. I got broke out. The, I painted uh, all these panels, both black, used my airbrush to highlight back up white, and then went over with Mephiston Red. So you can see there are little hot spots of red and then some darker nice. areas of red. Um, and, that, and then, oh, I did some, these panels here, some of these, fuel tanks and stuff like that and storage containers in um, Averland Sunset and uh, covered that with uh, the yellow glaze. Cass oh. Cassandora yellow? Uh, Lamenter's yellow. Oh, okay. And I just love the way really richens the yellow vibrancy when you put the Lamenter's on the Averland. And then I did some of the metallics here, like some of the silvers and some of the gold and stuff like that. But I think it's starting to come together as a tank, guys. Look good, man. Yeah, I'm really digging that white. It's yeah. popping. Thank you so, so much. Um, all right. Uh, I'm going to catch up on the chat real quick. And then would you rather go on to emo or art first? Uh, let's knock out emo and then we jump into art, if you don't mind. Okay. So talking about the response video, Weather Pig says... All good, guys. No rush. It's going so well. Talking about the lick, uh, brush licking. Wolfwraith says, all the best artists are. Oh, dang. Uh, Tom Doug <laughs> says, Necrons, where's the wog, man? I've, I've got it here in a box somewhere. Actually, I was just going uh, looking at the models uh, for my orcs with uh, Brother Daz last week. And he actually said he has more orcs to bring me, so that'll be cool. Huh. Uh, sorry, Edic, but I hate Necrons, says Thomas, not the Frost and Fists. <laughs> Uh, that's what Thomas says. <laughs> Running Bear says, um, makes sense for your son to do Necron since you have Admech. Hey, that's pretty good. That is a, I, you know, I didn't even think of that. That's pretty cool. Uh, so we kind of both worship the same Omnissiah slash, you know, uh, Void Dragon. Uh, <laughs> never say never, looks at son. Yep, yep. Thomas's boy, uh, actually uh, took an interest to uh, Tao recently. <clears throat> Looking good, Mythos. You can do it. Thank you, my man. I really worked hard. Well, you can I, do it. I really, once I got inspired, <laughs> I really enjoyed working on the Orange Stick Challenge. It took me forever to get inspired, but once I did. Archer says that super glow, glue is amazing, and Miniature's Paintbrush says yay emo. So we should go eat. All right. Uh, let's see. We know the intro. When you're going into the battle and you don't know how to feel, just count on Chef and Emo and his joint will make you squeal. So when the world is down, you want to scream up, just listen to the words of Chaplain Emo.
And always, this is the part where we get to ask emo. Doesn't that song just make you feel so alive? It just just <laughs> cheers me up. It gives me the willies. When you want to just screamo, listen to the, the words, words of Chaplin, Chaplin Nemo. Nemo. That just that hits me right here, bro. That, right that here. Does. I'm inspired. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually inspired, inspired now. already. Yep. I mean, you know what? That's all. Who, who needs anything else, right? No, we need more. We need more. You know what? Emo, my my man, my chaplain, my spiritual leader. I just, I don't know if I will ever be able to be a great artist like Brother Rob or the almighty Elston Nation. Oh, man. But I need some motivation to continue to press on. So that way, one day I can reach that level of talent. Do you have any words for me? Indeed. Ben, I am hearing so much about this Elstination character, and he's treated as a god. That is heresy and will not stand for it. By the way, uh, if you see him, could you ask him if I can get his autograph? Right? I know, right? We, uh, wait, you better get in line. No, no disrespect, sir. But yeah, you better get in line. <clears throat> right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, sorry. Hold on, mate. Right, there we go. Jesus. It wouldn't be a frosted fish. <laughs> it wouldn't be a frosted fish without being muted. Nothing like professionalism here at the Frosted Fist. So, as much as I respect Emo, if anyone gets uh, Elston Nation's autograph, I gotta go first. I'm yep. just saying. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> if I get one and the freak Don't one, touch me! Then we'll try and get Emo. <laughs> I'm only human. I'm not a monster. <laughs> <laughs> not only for advantage does evening falls. Thank you for joining us, guys. Oh Such a great God. channel. And what an interesting time for a, a relatively, you know, for, for, for brand new friends to join us is, uh, you know, during Chaplet Emo. <laughs> <laughs> us talking about getting uh, Elf Nation's autograph. Archer says, get in line, Mythos. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we got 30 minutes to cram because we want to try and designate a full hour to the amazing Oni and his tutorial talent. So let's try and run through a quick session of Art of the Week. Right on. Stand by. And I've had, actually, we had a lot of submissions this week. So if we don't get to your submission this week, we will try and put it up next week. But we do want to try and preserve an hour for our man Oni here. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so much. <laughs> Come on. All right. All right. All right. <clears throat> Got the sexy music going. Because, you know, every <laughs> piece is going to be sexy. All right. All, All right. right. Giggity, giggity. This one is submitted by our brother Thomas, and uh, who's that name, Freak? You're always better reading these. Criticos Art. Criticos yeah. Art. Yep. So this is a Doom Rider for their Emperor's Children. That is so cool. Uh, flawless Host Army. Now, what's cool here is, first of all, this is such a really badass conversion that's really giving me, like, uh, Ghost Rider feels. Hmm. But even cooler, Brother Thomas sent this to me and said, Hey, man, what do you think of this bike? I'm like, it looks amazing. He's like, hey. what if I did a loyalist conversion of this Ooh. for a certain wolf that plays uh, White Scars? Whoa. I was Whoa. like, oh, ew, yeah. Wow. <laughs> so, I mean, just look at the. I mean, 
and you know it's not very often we put up um unpainted miniatures here but when we do it's usually because we want to show a cool conversion indeed and man this definitely fits the bill yep mm. that does look it. pretty cool i like the, the, Rick the, vibe on the this one. horns on it right yeah yeah and i didn't send it but uh thomas actually this person actually gave um thomas the uh list of bits that he used for this and man it was like a whole bunch of different stuff oh that's a better that's a better view for it yep so cool and you you guys will see here that there's 10 slides of this but some of them were kind of duplicates and most uh, a couple of them were videos so that's yeah. why you're just going to see the numbers these are coming. definitely the better yeah all right man that's a hell of a conversion though indeed <clears throat> This is by Bohan, 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 miniature painter. <laughs> this one was submitted by Brother Brian over at Atomic Dog. Bohan. And I just love the vibrant, you know, it's like these vibrant colors really make me like, oh, you know what? Maybe I could paint up a little chaos. And then I see <laughs> like the, uh, you know, the headless uh, face dangling in his fist. And I'm like, wait a minute. That ain't me. <laughs> <laughs> It looks cool though. Oh yeah. Is, oh yeah. Is that non-metallic metal or is That's it what just... I was gonna ask. I was gonna ask the same, does it look like non-metallic or is it acid metallic? It looks like non-metallic. It yeah, it kinda does. If it is, that's very well done. And you know, even if it's not, it's it's done in a really nice way. And something that I've seen Brother Rob do and a couple other really awesome uh artists do, like uh Miniac is they'll do the <laughs> shading style and blending style of a non-metallic metal, yeah. but with true metallics for a crossover effect oh, that wow. looks great. Hmm. And that's kind of the vibe I'm getting from this. Yeah. Either way, the vibrancy just looks great. And I love how the vibrancy of the armor and the cloak is offset by like the darks, you know, how dark the horn and gritty the horns are and the, you know, the face was just so pale and bloodless, you know? Yeah. Another one submitted by Atomic Dog. Seth Miniatures. I can read that's one. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, just, I don't even know what this beast is, but... It's scary is what it is. Yeah, it, it's cool looking. Definitely, I feel like that you might find in the frozen wastes of uh, Asaheim on Fenris. <laughs> Hey, never heard it called that, but okay. Hey, there's a lady on top. Is yeah. it? Wait. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. How did I notice the lady last? <laughs> That's not usually me. <laughs> oh, right. oh yeah, look at that. Oh, back. Pretty crazy. Yep, there it is, right here. She's like, go that way. And he's like, eh. I thought oh. that was a banner. <laughs> I'm telling you. This, Mythos is so easily swayed by a pretty face or, or body. You know, if we were in the middle of battle and I saw somebody dancing on top of a giant beast like that, I probably like, would move out the way. Be like, oh, what hey. is your name? <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, Why? Like hello. That guy has slayed 15 people already. <laughs> I like your beast. <laughs> it's very big. <laughs> Do you mind if I get a ride? I know you play for the opposite team. Um, Brother Rob says, yep, painting true metallic metal in a non-metallic fashion, you get the depth of highlights and shades with the reflections of true metallic metal. It's a win-win combination. After seeing your work, man, I, I love what you do with it. I have to agree. You can follow over on Facebook, Dark Bunny Creatives, and we've featured them on the show before, but they always do such amazing looking work. Yeah. This is a house, uh, or the uh, Knights of Griffin, Knights of Griffin Smash Captain. I'm usually not a fan of like a lot of orange, but that orange armor this. works. Yeah. 
I the like fire like orange. orange. Yep. Yeah, it's like a fire orange, but it's also you can see some darker areas where it's more yeah. like brownie orange. Yeah. I, I think my problem with orange is that it's always so bright in one note. Right. There's a lot of depth he here <sighs> and multiple hues. I like that hammer. It's like purple. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I mentioned that you know I'm easily swayed by a pretty face or body. <laughs> Modeling for advantage says I love the comment of face or body rather than both. You know, like you know, not terribly fussy. <laughs> Who needs the Who face? Needs Just the body's good. You know oh, what I mean. Well, you know what? Way to call it's me okay. Out. <laughs> Doesn't have to have a body. Just the face. I like the face. Wow. <laughs> the face is bad. <laughs> body eh. <laughs> <laughs> anyways there's a really cool looking son of dorn here i like it i like Serving it a lot the death watch yes. with an astarte shotgun pretty cool <clears throat> i do like those edge highlights yeah yeah they're crisp very crisp very and i just i can feel the number of painstaking hours that went into that <laughs> I, I like that, that he didn't go white. He went like a light blue. This is really cool. Nice break. Yeah, I agree. And actually, that's how I highlight my black armor for my Space Wolves. Is I'll usually, especially like on the helmet areas, is I'll highlight grayish white and then I'll tone it back down with blue ink. That's cool. Nice. <laughs> Get called out, Mythos. Learn how it feels. Who do you think that comment's from, Freak? <laughs> 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 you get him, Callum. You get him, bro. <laughs> that model, uh, the the model, the female with riding with a stone horn from Age of Sigmar. Very cool. <laughs> you see, stuff like this is why I like our boy Callum. <laughs> that guy can dish it and take it. <laughs> I could just feel the get wrecked there. <laughs> get, wrecked. Yeah, get wrecked. Oh my gosh, dude. <clears throat> oh, did, did I mention who this was by? Did we read that already? Uh, right here. I, this is by... I have a screenshot saved here covering it. Way to be a jerk, Mythos. Kung Fused Painter. There we go. Like Kung Fu, but it's Kung Fused. Confused. I like it. I like that. Oh, painter from Germany. Nice. Good. He's good. Oh, Bobby, he's good. He does good. kung fu while painting. Yeah, right. Whoop. <laughs> That's what else the nation does. You know, he just practice kung fu, and there he just finished painting and going whole army. <laughs> the way of life. <laughs> <laughs> right. <clears throat> very cool. I, I it's very cool work. Indeed. Although I wonder, because it looks like full power armor, can Death Watch take a starty shotguns without being scouts? I don't know a whole lot about Death Watch rules. Oh, yep. This is from our brother, Atomic Dog Scale Model Freak. Are you able to zoom into that, any freak? Uh, let me try. So, if you guys don't know, uh, he's been painting scale models for a while, but just recently, you know, within the last year or so, <laughs> got into painting minis. And um, what really impressed me was that this man can already do eyes. Rob, shut up. Oh, my <laughs> God. The comet. Right? <laughs> no, Rob, it's not. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> but, yeah, so it... it... <laughs> Brian says, oh, crap. <laughs> no, but seriously, I, I can't do eyes. The fact that you're able to paint eyes is super impressive for Yeah, me. I don't, I stop trying because my eyes always get cockeyed. <laughs> always. <laughs> there's they're, they're like, derpy derp. I even I even shared that with you guys, right? When I did my, I still oh. have it. He's, he's still, still dirty. <laughs> no, <laughs> just Rob, please. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, speaking boy. of um, Brian painting eyes here. Um, Oni, my man, uh, modeling for advantage had asked earlier in the day, and I just wasn't able to get you get to a message and ask you. Um, but it was asked on our Facebook post where we said we were going to have you on tonight, and uh, 
they asked if you paint eyes as well as painting the face, and I didn't have an answer for them. 50-50. 50-50, okay. There you go. Hey, that's more than I do. Way more than I do. Sometimes I'll get it right. One eye is right, the other one's. It's like... So I can see in front of me and to the side. <laughs> it's a tactical advantage. Right? Got serious. You know, I was like, uh, I definitely have uh, stigmatism here. <laughs> I can see everywhere. It's like, do you Mr. love me, brother? Says, but it is him. <laughs> and Atomic Dog says, but Reaper says it's Ernesto, the revolutionary. Wink, wink. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, we need to move on. Weather Pig, by the way, says he's recently shown off his inability to paint eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Modeling for advantage says one eye looking at you, the other eye looking <laughs> for you. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Running Bear says, just say all your miniatures are having strokes. <laughs> That's so wrong, Running Bear. Oh, boy. Oh, no, you ain't right. <laughs> oh, man. It's oh, so my true. God. I just <laughs> feel like, I feel like my, 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 my whole Thunderbolt cavalry are just having strokes at one time. Let's get them. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Brother Rob says it's an ability. One CP and you can have to unionize. Crazy Ivor Mr. Deeds. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh my oh, god. Man. Hurt, dude. <laughs> like, oh, I was man. talking to you. I was talking to that squirrel over there. <laughs> Y'all, we are all going to a oh. bad place. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We're going to a bad place on family <laughs> right now. Uh, we're already there. It's called the Frosted <laughs> Fist. Welcome. All right, so oh. this conversion you're seeing online is an amazing looking mech warrior kind of inspired conversion like done by, and I know they are not super popular on the interwebs, but done by Spiky Bits. Uh, Rob Bear. I like and it. I just really, really love the mech warrior look that this conversion did. And, I used to uh, play Mech Warrior, so I love this. Yeah, yeah, it's very cool. And he has a whole list of parts, including Forge Fiend, including uh, um, Storm Raven parts, you know, Whirlwind Missile Launchers. There's a lot of stuff here. But even though it's a lot of parts and a lot of model kits, I kind of want to do this. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to show tonight. I want to replicate this at some point. I don't want to do it for my white scars because they don't really fit the white scars theme at all. Um, and Space Wolves can't take this particular kind of flyer. Well, no, but I mean, it, it wouldn't fit the Space Wolves kind of feel anyways. But I might do this for my Ultramarines. Really? You don't think you can make it work for your Space Wolves? No, I, I just can't imagine any Space Wolf that's going to have the patience to get up in this walker. I mean, come <laughs> on. They're, all, they're, they're already in a flyer. Yeah. You can, you can make like the cockpit like a wolf head shape. Yeah. You know? I have wanted to do one of those. If anyone's seen the old anime Zoids, kind of want to yes. make a command wolf at some point. <laughs> That'll be cool. But no, I think I wanted to do this for my ultras. I feel like that that would really, the ultramarines would be the most out of my army. I know Iron Hands is going to be the obvious option here, but being that I don't play Iron Hands out of the armies that I do play, I feel like ultramarines would be, would be the most likely to take this mech look warrior looking kind of uh, model. That's pretty cool. And this is a WYSIWYG model freak, by oh. the way. I didn't know if you know. Yeah, that's But awesome. if, with the weapon loadout and stuff like that, they use it as like, I think a Storm Raven. Mm. It's uh, the flyer that's, you know, the big flyer that can transport like, you know, dreadnoughts and whatnot. And Very nice. It's got like all these weapon options here. The missiles, the assault cannons, the LAS cannons. Pretty freaking cool. I want to try that someday. Oh my god, you said that your riders uh, were all having strokes, freak. Running Bear says, the strokes account for all the ones you roll in. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> You're right. That's just me having a stroke every time I roll. All right, here we go. Enough ale and they'll do or get into anything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, this... just looking over this complicated piece yeah, of so history. I'm like, can I drive that thing? Just... Or the cockpit is full of ale. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just shaking it and. All right, come on, big stick. Just... I, <laughs> I can imagine this what? complicated thing belongs to like the Iron Hands or something like that. Two, you know, the guy get, goes to get a part to fix it or whatever. Two space wolves are looking there. So you think you can drive that thing? <laughs> Finishes off a mug of ale and slams it down. Like, hold my beer. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> Starts clawing at everything. <laughs> My All guy's right, having so, a stroke. So your guys just can't drive it because he's got claws and he just can't figure it out. Mine's just, mine's flat out having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Going back to First it. world problems. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. Um, now the one news uh, topic I want to get to before our main topic, Freak, let's talk about those LVO previews. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me jump in here. We can skip over the rest of the uh, the okay. news articles, but okay. that's the one. It's fresh news. Let's talk about that, and then we'll get on to our t- All right, LVO. Hang on. <clears throat> news. Especially, they're so... By the way, while we're, he's looking for that, you got, look at those amazing Sidonian Dragoons on there. <laughs> those were a nice, vibrant red, had cool electrical effects on the Taser Goads. All right. <clears throat> All right, so lots and lots of releases tonight. Those <laughs> Admech models are maze balls, says Modeling for Advantage, and I have to agree a thousand percent. I mm. want at least two of all of them. Miniatures Paintbrush says, like those new elves. Me too, man. They just look amazing. I really think they nailed LVO. All right, let's scroll on down. We're not going to worry about the news. We're going to see what the goodies are. Woohoo. Your epic sauce right here, ladies and gentlemen. I really like the little commercial that they did, guys, for the Adeptus Mechanicus. It's only like 50 seconds if you go watch it on YouTube. But basically, if you've watched any of the other Admech uh, uh, requisition videos they did, you know, it's usually somebody from the Skitari requesting and uh, pestering um, somebody from command for new admec units and they're always like you know rejected rejected and then i gotta convince them for the requisition this time they were like it's been x amount of days since you've requested anything skatari requests are overdue they're like i got like you bro pause, <laughs> and then they're just like release the new admec units <laughs> it's just like they get a crap ton of stuff so apparently when you don't ask you get a lot of stuff apparently <laughs> all right so check out these guys so these guys have like the vanguard style helmets They've got, I don't even know what that rifle is. They've just got some really cool weapons here. And if you look at the noses of these uh, Cyber Beast mounts, yep. they're flamethrowers. Such yes. cool models. And you guys, I know they did not win the LVO. There's no new Space uh, Wolves and no Lehman Rust. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. But they came very close. A lot of cool stuff. Um if you guys know, we, your Wolf Brothers' favorite models of all times are cavalry models. And this just looks really cool. And there's actually two kinds here. There's this one we're looking at with Vanguard kind of helmet guys on top with flamethrower noses on the mounts. And then they have another variation that look more like Skitari Rangers. And instead of flamethrowers, they have some kind of tube. They some people like are saying it could be a chemical spitter or something like that. Good night, James. Um Oh, hey, there's the other ones here. Yeah, so, you know, it's got like a long rifle, kind of like the Skitari Rangers. It's got the hoods like the Rangers. Um, I wonder what that big old revolver is he's carrying. I don't right? Know. That's, That's crazy. Freaking Doc Holliday over here. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I love, by the way, I, I love the transition. If you look at the red on the mounts there, from the dark red to a lighter red towards the top. Anyways, I'm getting off chat. Me <laughs> this, this rifle looks like the pump action. The, oh, uh, the, break, like kind of a... the break, you know, where, where it kind of the, yeah. the it pulls down and you know the hat that's pretty cool. the, the one on the left or on the right? The one on the far left. Yeah, it definitely doesn't look like your traditional galvanic no, rifle. It, yeah, it see it looks like that part right there, you know, it just bring goes down to uh to cock it. 
And so, it, like, on the nose there, it doesn't look like an obvious weapon, but it does look like it's hooked up to some kind of, you know, canister where the reins are. So I'm wondering if this particular model also has a, some kind of weaponry embedded in the mount. Either way, this doesn't look like the kind of cavalry that I'm used to dealing with for either set of these, right? It's not a traditional run in close and hit stuff. It's more of a speed harassing kind of unit, it looks like. This looks you cool. Know? So pretty cool. Indeed. That is so neat, man. Uh, you know, you're talking about the pump action. Modeling for Advantage says uh, just needs a head swap. You need to make a John Wayne. Right? You like John Wayne? <laughs> I like Sean Wayne. Yeah, it's not racist when I do it because I'm Asian. Um, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I keep telling them that the same thing, and they get mad at me. It's like, well, I could say that. That's okay. I'm Asian. And Mitha just looks at me. <laughs> takes his head. Oh, okay. Too soon? All right. All right. <laughs> so I love, 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 love the Da Vinci Flyer wings on this jump pack unit. <laughs> yeah, so Those cool. look so cool those are pimp as hell i really like them and the jump pack units have this really cool looking long weapon here it looks like at first i saw the long shape i saw the canister it looks like a flamethrower but if you look more closely that's like a melt gun tip on it so yeah. i don't know the flamer. they did mention that this thing should be able to drop in and eliminate high profile units wow. which says melter to me which says it's going to wreck something and mm. Melter can definitely drop in and do that. I've never seen a flamer, you know, for the uh, uh, Imperial side. Now, I've seen Chaos Flamers do a good job, but I've never seen a, a, a flamer for the, uh, or, or let's not forget Death Sides, or D Sides from, uh, right. from the uh, Elves. But I've never seen an Imperial Flamer that did a lot of damage like this. But if it's supposed to drop in and take out high profile targets, that'd be cool. And then this variation here. I like the taser goad. Looks like a taser goad and some kind of pistol. Maybe a flechette blaster like the infiltrators. So I always love taser goads on models. And you know, if we can get some, I mean, is this is this some a, a potential close combat oriented kind of jump pack here? What is that big ass long rifle too? Is it like a sniper? Is it like a stuff, big ass machine gun? I'm well, I'm the all these new weapons we're getting for the admech. I told Freak this morning that I have been waiting for a long time for Sisters to come out. I'm pretty sure that that project's yep, getting pushed back. That is not going to happen. <laughs> Between the, the new flyer for the Admech, these new jump pack guys, the new cavalry guys, plus the Blackstone Fortress guys, there's a whole lot for me to add to my Admech army right now. Plus, I still want a um, one of the termite drills for my Admech that I've been wanting for a while. So... All of this is coming from the new Psychic Awakening book called Engine War, which is also going to, it's going to have the Ad Mech, it's going to have Imperial Knights, it's going to have Chaos Knights, it's going to have, uh, what was that other one, Necrons? Can you scroll back up for a sec? Yeah. yeah. I, for, I forgot the fourth faction. <clears throat> but that's the one coming out after the Orc slash Space Wolves book, so. Oh, good night, Modeling for Advantage. Or good morning where you are. How do you want me to go oh, maybe cool models. further up, Mythos? Or what? Wait. It's where not the, the Psychic Awakening Engine War. I was just seeing what that fourth faction was, but I don't recognize the symbol there. Oh, okay. The, these. Sorry. <clears throat> it's coming. Hang on. Come on. Catch up. Oh, I put it lowest latency and it's still slow. There we go. Oh, that's the I think that's the A pointed star. That's the chaos symbol. So chaos, chaos knights, imperial knights, and admech. Yeah. Ooh. It might be chaos admech. Ooh, you know, a lot of people have been asking for some dark mechanicum. Hmm. I saw all of these admech and I felt so happy for you, Wolf Brother. I had to text you in the morning when I woke up. All good. <laughs> I'm so excited. I was so excited when I saw it too. And actually, you didn't wake me up. I think I was already starting to get up for work. So it's all good. Really cool stuff here. Next, we have the uh, the elves coming back to fantasy. So AOS, people were upset when Warhammer Fantasy left. They couldn't play their high elves no more. Uh, but, oh, my gosh. What a cool, cool. I mean, they have really. 
And, you know, it's funny because I've heard of Great Divide. Some people love the new Elf models, and some people are like, you know, they want to use their old stuff, which is understandable. Um, but from someone who – I'm not, you know, as invested in in the uh, – the oh, oh, hey, if you look at the plumes – on top of the heads of some of these elves, that is one of the recent rumor engines. Oh wow! Okay. Uh, from black hmm. and white, it was just zoomed in. And I thought they looked like spider eyes at first, but no, that's these models here. Going out with the wifey? I'll watch the tutorial later. Good night, uh, Thomas Dog. So yeah, I love these. These new models just look really cool. Especially if we go into the next one again. You guys know your brother, your wolf brother favorite. Some some cavalry type models. <laughs> Those are some beautiful sculpts. Oh, man. Agreed. Agreed. Especially these right here. <sighs> Calvary just look so amazing. Mm -hmm. Those elves need to be painted as Shadow Veil. Vale. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. The front two, they look like they're <clears throat> prancing. They're show yeah. ponies. <laughs> <laughs> Take my beautiful like the... mane. <laughs> <laughs> we are galloping forward. Forward, everyone. Cool. Man, the more stuff I see come out for AOS, I just want to get into AOS. I actually started to get into AOS with the uh, with orcs. Oh, cool. Yeah. So if I bought a small army, I'd have someone to play against. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Oh, that one's pretty cool. That is pretty. Cool. Bear says, "When I see AOS, AOS, it saddens me as an old fantasy player." I'm sorry, my man. This one is very. It's such a cool model, and Archer was telling me that it's basically um, an empty suit of armor, which is very cool. Oh, that's weird. Hmm. Which oh, yeah, reminds me it. of like the space elves, the oh, Eldar. Wow. You know, they're basically hollow constructs, but with living spirit stones keeping them alive right so it kind of gives me a similar vibe here which i think is awesome first glance it looked like uh commander grievous star wars general hey, grievous general grievous shut yeah. your face <laughs> shut your mouth. call him out oni call him out if you're, gonna, if you're gonna say something about star wars get it right sir. Get, it right. get it right sir wow That's right <laughs> Definitely muting. <laughs> it's light embodied. Very cool. Yeah. So, so cool. it is actually a lot like a wraith, a wraith construct uh, from the Eldar. Uh, so the old neat. elves are still in AOS as Weather Pig. They were in a recent book. Very cool. So is this like a special model or is it like a squad of them? No, I think that's a, a bigger model. You know, I think it's like oh, a, okay. It's I think it's like having a wraith knight or maybe a wraith lord. Little known fact is that fantasy takes place after 40k. Really? really? Huh. But I thought, I thought they were like all like dimensions. You know? Huh. It's interesting. Huh. This one is techless. I'm not sure how I feel about the techless model. Like I like the the Sphinx or not Sphinx. Um Sphinx there? Yeah, I mean, the Sphinx style kind of thing there in the background, that's cool. But with Teclas himself just kind of hovering at the tip of the wing or whatever. Just the tip. <laughs> Everybody likes just the tip. <laughs> Everybody's favorite game. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. But yeah, it's an interesting model. I'm not sure quite how I feel about this model, but it's interesting. Is that a is that Typhoon's sword? Typhon's sword. I don't know. You guys know that we know as little as possible about AOS and uh fantasy here, so we could not tell you. Oh, that Carnor sword looks Oh my god, that Carnor sword looks amazing. amazing. I love Carnosaurs. See, before I started that orc, um, for AOS, I was thinking about doing um, Seraphons. Seraphon look amazing. I mean, all yeah. the dinosaurs. 
I want to paint a carnosaur. I just don't want to deal with those scales. <laughs> <clears throat> Go contrast. Weatherpick uh, says, I love that model for Teclas, but Teclas screwed over the Ideneth, and he plays Ideneth Deepkin. Oh. He says, so I must hate them. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> That's cool. The, the fantasy Lizardman relic was a power weapon they found. Interesting. Huh. Cool. Nice piece of terrain. I like the energy coming from the orb. Moving right along. Cool piece of artwork. Yep. Could use um, 100% more Carnosaur in that one, though. <laughs> He's just saying hello to his new neighbors, you know. Welcome right. <laughs> right. to the neighborhood. Marley's just staring at <laughs> Moving right along. So Marley, I said hi. We all know I'm her favorite. Uncle Mitha says hi, baby. <laughs> so looks like some Death Guard stuff's here. Some Death Guard? Not my jam, but I know a lot of people like Death Guard. Next big box set for uh, AOS is Elves and Seraphon. Very nice. Hmm. Brother Rob says he loves the new Nurgle models. Very cool. This one, oh man, I forgot what this thing's called. But basically, yeah, it's, it's a Zoas or something like that. Let me see if I can find the. Yeah, Zotes. Zotes. There we go. Yeah. Pretty cool. But this has basically been memed. You know, whenever they do um, those close-ups, the rumor engines, and people can't figure out what it is, people would usually just say it's the Zote. Nope. <laughs> Zote confirmed. And now Zote actually has been confirmed, but for Blackstone Fortress. And they'll probably get some 40K rules at some point. Because almost everything in Blackstone Fortress gets 40k rules. That's an interesting looking model, man. Necrons, Tau, and Ogors are the only model uh, armies that uh, Brother Thomas hasn't painted. Not for long. So here, it's pretty cool. If you guys have any Forge World, and you guys know your Wolf Brother loves to play with Forge World toys, um... They're actually getting an updated book because the Forge World indexes were so long ago. And uh, they're finally getting an update to the rules there. So that'll be cool. I need to learn to do rust effects. This looks so cool. Yeah, whoever um, at the it studio does. painted this uh, Dreadnought, you know, very cool. And those paint chip effects as well. Right? Yep. Hey, dude. Yep. Brother Rob recently got a Leviathan. And nice. I know he wants to put it in his Death Guard, but I'm, I'm still lobbying. Man, I really think it would help your Space Wolves win rate. Just saying. Just saying. Also, the double Butcher Cannon here, you know. Yep. Very popular competitive build. They see they decided to go that route. So that's just them saying that they're mystery new books that they're going to put all the Forge World uh, items in. Rob says he has Zotes with his Zotes meal at breakfast time. <laughs> <laughs> Dad jokes. <laughs> Sorry. All right, moving right along. Moving <clears throat> right along. All right. And that latency tonight. Right? It's come on. Jeez. Let me see something. Let me see. It's green. It's moving along. It's just Oh, this white scars uh 
model here is, is going to make a fantastic captain on my back line. I don't even know what he's got in his offhand, but I see a power sword here. I love, 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 love the samurai style armor. God, I love that samurai style armor. I'm not so, I know it's very traditional for samurai to have demon helmets, right? To scare off people. But this one, it looks kind of almost like a orc kind of face demon yeah. hat. I'm probably definitely going to go with the unmasked version, but so still. It looks like a reverse blade, like he's holding it reverse blade here. That's what it is. You can see the hilt. Oh, it's like a second sword? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's yes, pretty cool. I do need that model. <laughs> that can confirm will be the Terminator <laughs> Oh, Captain he's going Earth. all grease point. Oh, Lord. <laughs> That's going to be, oh, so cool. Yeah, I definitely need that, that Terminator model. That's happening. All right, that's pretty much it here. Cool. All right, moving on. <clears throat> yes. New trailer is up for the Warhammer, animated Warhammer, so that'll be cool. So Go check be like that an out. I haven't seen show? it yet, but I need to watch it. All right, so we got a full 45 minutes now for our man Oni to do his dang thing. All right. Are you ready for us, my man? Yep, yeah, just getting things ready here. All right. Ready when you are, bro, Chacho. All right. Let me, uh, let me go black right now. Mm. <laughs> well, be careful with that because I heard that once you do that, you can't go back. I think I... <laughs> Already there. Yes. <laughs> okay. We've gone black. And we won't go back. Kabuki mask. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Uh, I've seen a Kabuki mask. It doesn't quite look like that. Two blades are for show. Blade works best alone. I don't know. There's some impressive dual wielders out there. Indeed. Hmm. That'll be a Kabuki mask. Oh, dude, I'm hurt. Actually, I think it's an Oni mask. It probably is an Oni mask. Nobody knows yeah, who's behind I'm pretty it. pretty sure that's that's the technical term. Are you term. running? <laughs> <laughs> not you, man. Not you. Right. You, just, you just keep doing your thing in the dark, okay? Just uh, do your thing. All right. You ready? Yep. All right. All right, man. Everybody can see that. It looks like everybody can see. I'm. I has excite. <laughs> All right. It's All right. Perfectly centered too. Sorry. <laughs> um, working off of my my phone here. All right. So I'm just gonna use DW colors. You know, everybody has access to those. So I usually start off with. Back up just a little bit. Uh, there you go. Or left towards you. There, there you go. Bugman's glow. Okay. The That's what I usually start off with. Yep. Gotta shake it up a bit. Oh yeah, <laughs> shake it, baby. We need to change the music. Uh, let's see some. Where's my sexy music on here? Why did it not change over? Oh. Remember you had that problem last week too. Yeah, let me find it here. Studio. Let me find my sexy music. Gotta have the sexy music. Right. Sexy music. There it is. Copy. And I got sad music. That's pretty bad, yeah. And uh, paste reference. There we go. Turn this down here. All right. So what are we doing first here, my man? What you got cooking there? Yeah, talk so, to <clears throat> I usually get a uh, black and medium size brush, okay. and I just do two scoops of that Bugman's Glow. Okay. 
you know, you want you want to have enough, uh, you know, to put your base coat down in for the um, the color mixing that we're gonna get into. <laughs> okay, and I see you using a wet palette, yeah? Yeah. Can you so tell me, I'm, tell me about your wet palette. Yeah. So this is uh, I got this from Redgrass Games. Uh, it's the Everlasting wet palette. Come in two sizes. Uh, I got the small one, which is the orange covered one, and then they have the extra large, which is the blue, uh, blue colored one. Uh, so I love it. Cool. Awesome. I've always wondered how the Red Grass Games one was. It's pretty cheap, too. How much was it? If you don't mind me asking. Uh, it was like 25 bucks. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's not that bad. Uh, all right, so uh, I I thin it like I thin the paint really really thin, so it's like okay. it's kind of like a glaze. Okay. So you thin with water, you thin with medium. Uh, with water. No, I, okay. I do everything like do all the thinning with water. So, so Duncan style. Yeah. <laughs> Opal so. Duncan style. Wow. <laughs> but I guess you could say that because you're Asian, huh? Jeez. Not racist. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the first coat down. Doesn't matter if you're clean. So you just slather that sucker all over, huh? Yeah, I told you, man. Like hey. when I first put that first coat down. Yeah. I'm all over the place. Which is funny to find out because your end result is always so clean, right? I really yeah. like, though, how he does his highlights, though, like uh, around the cheekbone and stuff. That just, that's just... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? Hand check. <laughs> that's paintbrush oh. and uh, water. Okay, go ahead. Worried me there, bro. Paintbrush <laughs> and water. <laughs> <laughs> he had to prove it. <laughs> So since the paint is really thin, it dries up really quick. Okay. It's you can still see the black. Yeah. Showing through. But actually looks good already. Golly. Okay. Huh. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, it's you. falling. Don't 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 fall, Chester. All right. Wow. Man. Do another coat. Some more paint on that brush. So. It's taken me a while, and I still know I, I can still do so much better with my faces. But I feel like after doing it a while, like, I, I stuck with helmeted heads for so long. Um, and it took me a long time before I found a, a face recipe for my white scars that I was comfortable with. And even now, I mean, I still don't I still don't go out of my way for unhelmeted heads on my space wolves very often. But... But like I found a recipe for Asian skin, I feel like I was happy with with faces. Um, how long did it take you to kind of perfect your recipe for faces here? Ooh. Um, I'd say a year. Solid year of working at faces. Uh, Very uh, nice. Might be that'll for us. get it to stick. <laughs> <laughs> Stay there, More tech. <laughs> More tech. <laughs> And by the way, guys, if you have any questions while he's doing that, please, by, by all means, go ahead and put them in the chat. Oh, absolutely. That's why we wanted to do this live. So that way you guys could get some yeah, questions uh, answered, interact all you want. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Freak or Mythos can read those off to me. Yep. Absolutely. <clears throat> yeah. So I'm on my third coat right now. Are you just going right to it? Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, like it's, it's thinned down really thin. So it dries really quickly so guys one of the reasons he, he asked a couple different face options and one of the reasons why i asked him to do this one is because i know when i was a novice i never knew what to do with models that had their mouth open i'm still a novice <laughs> um i mean I've, I'm, I've got a better idea of it now but i still wouldn't say that you know I'm any kind of expert on it. But, uh, one of the things is that, um, you know, I've put off painting 
Russ. I've had the 30K Russ model for over a year now. Um, and I've put off painting him because painting faces intimidates me. Right. And I definitely don't want to do the master of the Space Wolves disservice, right? And dude's got his mouth open a little bit, you know? Right. So I'm like, hey, I can apply something we learned tonight to working on Russ in the future. All right, we're doing coat number four now. The four thin coats. Huh. Interesting. You're and that's just mixing... just the first color, right? Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say you're not mixing anything else in it. Nope, not yet. Okay. Uh, Wolfray says uh, skin is a crazy thing to get right. Been working on it myself recently, doing some zombie stuff, and man, it's awkward. But yeah, thin coats and building it up seems to be the way forward. Yes. Very cool. Yeah, I think that's my my issue. I don't thin it enough. That I, that's 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 it. I don't thin it enough. That's and, the thing, though. If yeah. you like, if you thin it too much, yeah, that's all right. Because I mean, yeah, it'll take a couple more coats to get it to what you want it to. But yeah, I mean, it's no wrong way to thin it, you know? Right. All right. So I mean, you guys can see. This is kind of like a banged up brush that I was using to put the first color down. Right on. Yeah, I mean, first first coat, doesn't matter. Right. <laughs> All right, so this is, so I'm kind of, I'm kind of happy with the, the coat. It's covering, you hey, it looks good. don't yeah, see you any see black it. now. No, yeah. Yep, you don't I mean, see you any. You can see some undertone. Yeah, but yeah, that's But it's fine. not black, yeah, that's, that's what yeah. you want. Yeah. All right. So now I'm gonna get some red. Red? Yeah. Red. red. I would so, never what? It, I mean, it doesn't matter what kind of red. If you're using Viejo um, Army Painter or yeah. GW, just any red. Okay. And so Mephiston, that's a nice vibrant hot rod red, right? Yep. So I just. Oh, dude, I'm geeking out right now. This is great. <laughs> <clears throat> I just do one drop. Um, it, you don't really need a lot. Tiny drop will do. Right. Well, I, I put most of my GW colors in dropper bottles. <laughs> right on. And then you get, a, you get a blue. What is that, Mag? Mag what? Uh, this is my crack blue. Okay. Okay, so an Ultramarine's base coat. Shaking it up here. Same, same, same thing with the red. You don't need that much blue. I'll put that blue here. I don't know. I'm, con brush. I'm convinced. I have to get a wet palette, Nethos. I, I've got to. I got to do that. This is. This is cool. Yeah, I've been actually um, thinking about getting the one from Army Painter. The new uh, one that just came out? Yep. Yeah, nice. I saw that too. All right, so I'm going to take some of that red. Okay. Go off to the side here. Clean my brush. Take some of that Bugman's glue. Mix it in with that red. Interesting. So yeah, you mix it kind of. Yeah, so you mix in the blue a little bit with the red? No, Bugman's glow. Oh, Bugman's glow, okay. Yeah. Okay, with the with the okay, with the with the red, yeah. Gotcha, okay. Huh. And you know, I almost never mess with Bug Bugman's glow because I always feel like it's such a dark color. Right. <clears throat> Uh, that you know, I'm like, man, my guys are going to come up with like two tans. Like sunburn, yeah. But see, I think that's what he does. That he gets he gets the base looking dark, but he, then he highlights it and it brightens it up. At least that's my that's my theory. That's what I think he does. You know me, I, I like to overthink crap. <laughs> so yeah, just keep mixing that Bugman's glow in there um, until you get like a little reddish hue in there. Because okay. I I kind of got too much red. Okay. So I, I kept adding Bugman's glow. Um, let's see if I can get close up there. 
See? Okay, so you just darken up a little bit. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit. Give it like a reddish hue. Okay. So now I'm gonna put that brush aside. Dingy brush. I'm gonna get a finer tipped one. All right. Was that a yeah. zero or one? It's a triple zero. Oh, okay. Triple. You know what? Oh yeah. Let me get a oh, double don't zero. Don't play around. <laughs> uh uh. All right. Oni don't play that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need too much paint on the brush. So this red, reddish Bugman, Bugman's glow, we're just gonna put it on the on the the highest points. So we'll put it on the top of the nose here. Any ridge that you see. So that's a darker it's a darker pigment than what you've got on it right now, right? Right. But it's more right. actually a little red. Okay. So it's almost like a type of a shade. Yeah. See how it you can kind of tell the difference there? Yeah. On the yeah, cheek. yeah, yeah, yeah. You give it like a blush to it. Yeah. Let me switch the music. In I'm, there. I'm falling asleep here with this music. <laughs> so what? I, I need to change the music because I'm falling asleep with it. Are, are you turning Oni into buy painted? <laughs> I started to. <laughs> uh, I can't do that. Don't do that. I got some hopping, hopping music now. Well deserved. Get the top of the head here. Running Bear says, I use a similar base coat, then I use Liquitex Professional <clears throat> Acrylic Ink. Uh, hmm. Transparent Burnt Sienna, the dry brush, a toffee color, then another ink to add a little white to the coffee for another dry brush. Interesting. Uh, see, that's, that's the thing, that's the way I kind of do my stuff is I dry brush it, but I find that, I, I don't know, there's gotta be a technique that I'm doing wrong because when I do some dry brushing, it comes out um, wet, not webbed. What? What is the? It's 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 weird. It it looks like it's patterned. It doesn't look smooth at all. You know how when you dry brush something, you, it it's got. Uh, I don't know. It looks like it's patterned. It doesn't look really easy. So, are you removing enough paint from your brush? Maybe. Yeah, yeah, I am. It's just, I don't know. I'm just. I can dry brush like metallic, and that's fine. It looks great. But when it comes to faces, it just doesn't seem right it looks kind of like plaster interesting yeah I, I i don't know i don't know i just uh running bear said he sent pictures cool i will check our i don't know if you saw this okay it's on my our hand message. was shaking <laughs> it's on my yeah i saw that you look like my hands yeah i can't hold them still <laughs> <laughs> so do yeah. that trick that i told you just put your elbows on the table yeah. Them, put them close to your body. Right. Interant hobbyist uh, says, "Don't fall asleep while painting. I've done it before. And then I've started <laughs> nodding off with a brush in my hand too. And then I get pissed off when I wake up and there's weird slash marks across my model and around your face." <laughs> <laughs> so I'm I'm happy with the red that's on there. Okay. So and. What's interesting is that kind of the red kind of makes it a little bit of a darker color, right? But you said that you're putting that on the high notes? Yeah. Interesting. It's, it's okay. all on the top of the head. Don't put it on the bottom. Okay. That's so tra traditionally I see those darker colors go in the recesses, but I'm guessing that's what the blue mix is for, huh? Yeah. You get it. <laughs> oh. All right. All right. So Get that blue. You just licked your brush? Yes, I did. 
<laughs> we mentioned earlier, he's a fellow Rush Licker. Indeed. Okay, and he's proved it, ladies and gentlemen, right here. Okay, so now you're mixing it with a blue? Yep. Okay, so does this bring it like a like a gray, right? Yep. Yeah, like I said, I think you you got a, you got a great command on, on the on the uh, the color palette, dude. The color wheel, you've 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 got it. So I still have to keep working at it. Um, yeah, like I said, it took me a whole year to figure this out. So it took a lot of trial and error. Can't see it there. Gotcha. Yeah. Get that color. Oh, very cool. I'm so, going to I'm gonna oh. put that down here by the jaw. Okay. That'll make it look like he has like a five five o'clock show. Oh, okay. So basically, hairline area. <clears throat> right. So you can kind of tell already. Right. Okay. Focus. I always wondered how people do the five o'clock shadow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Yeah. So you add a little blue to give it a grayish hue. Huh. Right. Or you could or you could use gray. Huh? Like straight up gray. You don't have to do it the way that I'm doing it. Yeah, but you gotta thin it down. And that's where I have the problem is I don't think I thin it down well enough. I gotta get a I gotta get a wet palette. Yeah, there's like there's a whole bunch of tutorials that, that'll show you how to make your own wet palette. Yeah. All you need is a sponge and uh, I think wax paper. Hellworks by Hellchild says, I use a lot of washes and glazes with flesh. See, that's how I started off. Like, I would use, uh, what is it, um, Reichland uh, Flesh Shape? Uh huh. For the uh, skin tones? Right. And then I just layer, uh, do the highlights with. Uh, Cause I've, that's how I've always painted flesh. I've just I've always used Bugman Glow, and then uh, Canadian Flesh Tone and right. Kislev Flesh. Right. <laughs> Rob, Rob, little roll tonight. Rob, the miniatures paint brush says, "I don't normally eat paint, but when I do, Vallejo Game Air tastes good. GW Shades <laughs> tastes awful, and Tamia, or Tamia is straight toxic. <laughs> Tamia is very straight toxic for sure." <laughs> Uh, Vallejo Surface Primer also. Oh yes. Probably, probably the worst. Probably the worst. Kind of see it there. Yes. Okay, so it give it like a lighter, yeah, like a like a like you have a shadow. If I uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's really cool. I, I've always wondered how people do that effect. Yeah, you, you use blue, mix it on Bugman's Glow, or just just gray. Huh. And you know what's funny? I can still see the black coming through it, but as a shadow or as a as a shade instead of that. That is really really cool. Yeah, I can see it under the cheekbone. Yeah. yeah go. And I'm guessing because this is the effect that I feel like I'm seeing. You the 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 parts you've done on the raised areas with the red bugs bugman's glow. I guess it's kind of a natural blush effect, huh? Right. That's nice. That's real nice. Wolfred says, if you're wanting to test if it's gray enough, if you brush your thumbnail uh, with it, you can see through it slightly. It tends to be the right consistency, I find. Oh, that's a good tip. Yeah. All right, so here's my next color. Oh. Katie, Katie Flesh Tone. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, Brother Rob says he picked up a Masterson's wet palette for twelve bucks and has never looked back. If, mm. if you don't have one, you guys need to get one. I, I am going paper, to. You're right. 
I'll go child. for it. I'm gonna go for that. I, I'm gonna get me one. Get me some of that key inflation. I'll, I'll mix that in with the Bugman's glow. Oh, okay. So you're just lightening it up a little bit then. Yep. The flesh tone with the uh, Bugman's glow? Uh -huh. Yep. Because I'm not going straight with um, Katie and flesh tone as the next highlight. I want to transition it. Okay. <clears throat> Makes sense. Gonna turn it down a bit. Mark, you just got one of the armory painter ones, and it's pretty amazing. I may do that. I may pick up that Masterson's wet palette. Oh, Buck, but you can't beat that, man. It might work hey, I, I got a Masterson's wet palette if you want it. You do? Really? Yeah, if you want it. Oh, I mean, yeah. I don't use it. Yeah, man, definitely. I appreciate that. Uh, here's a question from Wolfbraith. Steve, are you using a Red Grass Games wet palette I see there? It looks like the XL one. Yes, I am, but it's the small one. <laughs> there you go. It's the small one. <laughs> the blue one is the big one. Ah. All right, so with this one, I just get the raised areas. So like the, the top of the nose here. This is all high cheekbone. This is the uh, the nose. Um, and do you do above the the brow as well? Yep. Okay. The brow. The eyelid. He has some wrinkles right here on his forehead. Nice. Yeah, Wolfred says good choice. <clears throat> I just realized I'm using the wrong brush. So you were using a triple zero before, right? No, I was using a double zero, which I should be using my triple zero. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, dang. You don't really need, like, top-of-the-line brushes for, like, any of these. Because this is just one of the, the ones I just, generic brand that I got off of Amazon. Oh, like yeah, Sam Lenz. Five bucks. Uh, Sam Lenz says he just bulk orders cheap brushes, so. I do have some, um, like, expensive brushes, but I only use those for, like, showcase models or competition models. I have a um, um, a uh, sable hair Windsor Newton. Yep. That I've literally only taken out of its protective plastic like twice. How are those, by the way? I mean, I don't feel like I use it enough to know <laughs> the difference. So I have the Raphael Kalinsky ones. Those are the ones that I use for the uh, Mephisto model. Wow. Very nice. Yeah. Get the scar right here. What color do you use for your scar? Uh, so right now I haven't filled it in yet, which is a good point that you brought it up. <laughs> I'll just use that, uh, that blue uh, and Blue and Bugman's glow combination. I'll just put that in the crevice there. Okay. It should be a fill. Okay. Right. Just pop that sucker in there. God. 
I hate getting black paint onto the yellow. Oh no, <laughs> dude, don't even, don't even. That's, that's the bane of my existence right there. Sh- I've been sitting here wet blending my yellow for like 20 minutes now. Oh. That's good, dude. So you just keep going over it until you got the dis- like the color that you want. There's no real like right number of layers that you should do. It all just depends on what you want it to look like. I'm just looking at your technique. You see the areas that you're going with the highlights. Right. So explain that you're just going at the edge of the of the head there, the, the hairline. Yeah. There, yep. Right there. You know the uh, the bra right here where it kind yeah, of like arches, right? Yeah, I just and it meets the it meets the the skull there, the skull right. line. Okay. You guys, looking like uh, John Luke Picard here. <laughs> Only angrier. <laughs> right? I said engage. Wait, that sounds like Worf. <laughs> and that's the community for you. <laughs> What's the community? Oh, maybe you're hooking him up with the palette. Wow, that looks great. Focus a bit. Yeah, dude, it's that's great, dude. I love, I love both the, the the way the skin tone's coming out, and I love how pronounced that five o'clock shadow is. Yeah, and it's you know, so you pronounced. Remember, like if you'd gone in with the straight paint, you know, right, it and would he, have definitely looked like painted on, you know. And, and this, he, he started out with a dark paint, a dark color, but he brought it up with the highlights. With a little bit of the with a bluish to add the gray tone, and a little bit of the red to or, uh, add the uh, you know kind of like the uh, extra blood tones. The blushes. Yeah, blushes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then the highlight brings it up. Yeah. So, I'm I'm happy with the highlights right now. Okay. On it. So now I'm gonna go back to uh, where is it? Cadian flesh tone. Okay. Just straight Cadian flesh tone now. Oh, okay. Because right now this was Cajun flesh tone mixed in with Bugman glow. Bugman glow, okay. Rob, the miniatures uh, paintbrush says I use both cheap brushes for about ninety percent of my models, and use my Raphael and Windsor and Newtons for eyes and other fine details. They hold paint like a boss. Yeah, they do. They do. Very cool. Sucker wet. Holds paint like a boss. Like a boss. <laughs> I was just thinking of the video mythos. Yeah, that's what I was doing. The Andy Sandberg. <laughs> Say what? Andy Sandberg. Yep, the Lonely Island. <laughs> Throw those hot dog on the ground. <laughs> Don't pull <laughs> <laughs> uh, on the ground is another one of my favorites. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is so funny, dude. He just grabs the dude's hamburger and throws it on the ground. <laughs> All right, so I'm, go- I'm doing the just straight Canadian, Canadian flesh tone highlight right now. I got it in my hand now. Well, <laughs> the question I have is. Does it have to be straight Cadian flesh tone? Because that's not very inclusive. Uh, what do you mean? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Never mind. Well, I, I I just used GW paints for faces. I haven't actually like messed around with Viejo or uh, Army Painter. You know, so I, I don't just... really have a 
recipe for that just yet. Oh no, I was just saying that it doesn't matter to me if the Cadian is straight or whatever his life choices are. Oh my god. Or her life choices. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Lily? Lily? I got it now. Lily, Lily, do something. Uh, please. <laughs> I'm just saying I don't discriminate. I just foster an inclusive environment. Oh my god. Rob. <laughs> what? On the I, wouldn't, I, would, <laughs> I wouldn't have imagined that uh, Rob was the Lonely Island fan. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. You at Kinko Street flipping copies. <laughs> <laughs> Those two are on my favorites, but also I have to say I, I love the German techno of <laughs> just my pants. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Giddy gone. Hey, Roxas. Brother Roxas. Roxas, we're getting our learning on, my man. We're actually uh, learning how to do faces. <clears throat> We're getting a, a, a tutorial on how to do the face. I am absolutely terrible at it. So let me ask you this. Do you think it's just better not to do the eyes and just avoid the derpy derp? Yeah, because you said you're about 50-50, right? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I just skip it. I'm like, all right, that looks good. I'm not going to mess it up by doing retard eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Personally, I just shade mine because unlike most of the models, like if you mess up on a model, it's still, you know, like a, a, a Space Marine you feel like you could have painted a little better overall still looks pretty good, especially once you get them based and you get your models together and stuff like that. It's harder to oh, mess wow. up, you know, a, 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 a straight up Space Marine. Basically, if you mess up eyes... The whole model looks surfy. You know? Yeah. There's much smaller room for tolerance when it comes to art. I feel like. Yeah. Steve, that that looks amazing, man. Holy oh man, crap. and you got it nice and focused too. What phone is that? Uh iPhone 10 Mass? Uh, cool. It's the yeah, one that looks really good. I guess it'd be Tell 10. Me, what do you do for an open mouth like that? Also giggity. <laughs> uh, so cat hair right there. That's so for the again. <laughs> so for the mouth, and I know he's got some some teeth in there. Toothesis. Some toothies. Some toothesis. Toothesis. I'm just gonna do. <clears throat> so left to gray. Okay. Yeah. But I'm not done with the face yet. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Wow, look out. We got a badass over here. All right, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with the highlights of Kitty and Fleshstone. Okay. That's the last highlight right there. Kiss left. Very nice. Kiss left flesh, okay. I like how I did it before. Mix it in with Kitty and Fleshstone. Okay. Get some of this sucker here. Yeah, I agree. I, I agree with Running Bear. You make it look simple till I try and pick up a brush and do it. And then I look <laughs> like I just did it with a crayon. That's me! <laughs> <laughs> it's it's just trial and error. You know? Practice makes mine's perfect. More, mine's more error. <laughs> Until I realize that I'm painting with the wrong side of the brush. <laughs> Oh, I... not coming out right. <laughs> right. <laughs> what I do wrong? Hey, you with a stick and what? Not working. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let that brush go. Yeah, this was thin <clears throat> enough. Yep, 
Yeah, I have I have a whole bunch of different brushes. Different sizes. Do that. <clears throat> Master has to have his tools, right? <laughs> I'm like the opposite. I stick with one brush size way too long until I jack something up. That's when I realize, you know, it's probably time to change brushes. <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to use this brush because it's already splitting. <laughs> <clears throat> That's a little discriminatory. Right? It's like, okay. We, don't all, we no longer need your services. You're no longer wanted here. All right, I got it. Bring no, out no, my... All oh, this time dang, yellow. dude. He pulled out the big guns, Mitos. I have to. <laughs> Just show it. Show it again. Clip, Mitos. Bang. Ah. Buy it, I guess. I got to whip him out. <laughs> All right. See that tip? Love that tip. <clears throat> I love the tip too. <laughs> Me too. I like it a lot. Dude, that is a <laughs> that's a fine tip. Okay, so what you doing now? Just doing that. Uh, very. That's the. Uh, what is that? Kids left flesh. Yes. Mixed in with Bugman's glow. Okay. That's just, that's not all the way through, that's like almost at the corners where the corners meet. Very edge. So you're just barely putting some of that highlight. Right. Okay. Like those really thin edge highlights we were talking about earlier. Right. Yep. At the very corner. <clears throat> uh. Running Bear says, like going on trial for all the errors. That works by Hellchild says, I paint the base flesh, then the eyes, then finish the flesh. Um, I I tried that too, Brother Thomas, but I, I always wind up derping it up. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I think I'm going to just stop doing eyes. Uh, Brother Rob says, is anyone going for Golden Demon this year? I am. Oh, oh damn. Well, there you go. <laughs> Running Bear says, if you mean going to burn my brush, Golden Demon, then yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm burning I'm it I'm just going to go. I already know I'm not going to do well in there, but I'm just going to go. Right on. Just so I could see how it is. Right. Okay. That's how I'm going to that competition tomorrow. Right. I'm going in there not expecting to win because if I don't win, I won't be bummed. Right. And if I somehow place, yeah, I'll come as a surprise. <laughs> well, you won in our book, dude. Oh, yeah. We love your yeah. Mephiston, man. Oh, yeah. All right. So there's that. Hot Holy cow. Dude, with, that. Uh, Kislev and. Okay. So I thought you were done, but you just took it another step and you brought it even brighter. <clears throat> and just straight kids left. Oh, so you're going one last final. Yeah, that's okay. just like a dot. <clears throat> okay. It's not like. Okay. That's not going to be like lines or anything. That's just. And I'm so glad we have this that's going to be on the archive because I'm going to go back to it to reference it. I'm interested to see where these dots are going. Yeah. It's just where the corner, the corners, where the ends meet. Okay. Right at right. the brow and the and the edge of the skull. Yep, right there. Okay. Tip of the nose. Huh. Okay, I can see the tip of the nose. Uh. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's. Right there, in between the brows. Okay, so you're hitting a reflection. Yep, and the dot right there on the wrinkles. Right there. That's it. Damn. That looks great, man.
Very nice. Yeah, absolutely. Really gorgeous work. Hmm. All right, now for the toofies. Okay. Or alternatively, the teepee. <laughs> I just like that sound when you shake the paints and it's just sloshing around in there. It's it, it's soothing. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I can't see what you're doing off camera, but okay. It's funny because early on when I started painting, I'd be shaking my paints and my wife would go, Honey, what are you doing in there? <laughs> <laughs> it does. It does. <laughs> Oh, you got, got a compliment here, uh, Oni. It's uh, Running Bear says, thanks, Oni, for doing this. Yeah, it's no problem. Thank uh, thank Freak. He's the one who approached me with it. Wow, but make it sound creepy. Hey. <laughs> hey. Boy, you, I mean, you kind of did when we met up for lunch. Really? <laughs> like that? Hi, Steve. <laughs> Hi. I mean, your hand was moving. <laughs> oh wow! Like, oh. So this is how this happens, <laughs> right? <laughs> hey, but you shook it. I'm just saying. You shook hey, my. Head. I took it. You took it. <laughs> I took it. I didn't stop you. <laughs> nope. Nope. You say, All right, let it have it. <laughs> like, I'm ready. <laughs> ready. <laughs> just let it happen. Wait, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. <laughs> 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 okay, so you're still using that fine brush for your, the two fees, right? Uh, no, I switched. I went back to that triple zero. Triple zero, one. okay. The cheapy. Okay. The cheapy one. Wolfray says, guys, it's 5 a.m. having to bail and grab some sleep, but keep up the amazing work. Face is looking great, Steve. I'll be checking on Oni Studios for sure. Nice. Absolutely. <clears throat> Only Studio, by the way, doesn't have a YouTube channel yet, but you can definitely find him on the uh, Instagrams. And you can also uh, keep an eye out because he said that this is kind of his little test run tonight. He has been considering a YouTube channel. And so you may be seeing more from our brother Oni. Very nice, dude. Dang it. Okay. Well, See, I'll thing. eat the camera. Flipping chicken. So here's the thing: when I do teeth, it's not just the teeth; the whole face. No, I didn't want the white goo there or gray or whatever. So let's do gray. <laughs> That's really great brush control, bro. I don't get like, it. So the funny thing is, my hands shake like crazy. Like I was saying earlier, just control that. Put your elbows to your body, mm. or put it on the table. It'll uh -huh. it'll st stabilize it. All right, so I'm kind of dreading the eyes right now, but I'll I'll I'll, I'll do it. You gonna give it a shot? Yes. Yeah, I'll, I'll go for it. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> uh, uh, Rob says it's only awkward if you let it be awkward. So true, <laughs> my man. That's one of my favorite quotes. Yeah, that's right. Brother Zane is back. Welcome back. Welcome back, my brother. Running Bear says, welcome back, Zane. Wolf Ray says, turns out I'm already following Oni Studios. <laughs> yeah. Was Wolf just Ray's meant that. to be. Uh, like, That's awesome. <laughs> I've seen all those busts he's painting. It just it makes me want to burn my paintbrushes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Right? Oh, man. I have to say my favorite was him painting up a barbarian as Kratos. <laughs> Dude, he's just amazing. No, no, hell, child, he did not burn <laughs> <Dang it. laughs> Can we move on here? God. <laughs> Called out. <laughs> yeah, right. I do. Right, Next time we go do lunch, I, I, lunch is on me. I promise. Yeah, absolutely. The next time y'all yeah. go do lunch, lunch is on free. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks, Mithos. Glad I got your support, bro. I got you back. Yeah. We just pulled out of the Frosted Fist Fund. 
<laughs> Zane says, I'm back. Can you redo all the stuff you've done so far? <laughs> There's only two hours worth. All right, there we go. <clears throat> well, you got two fees on there, dude. Uh, you can hardly see it, but let's go to the light. Dude. I got the white in the eyes. Okay, so so what what kind, what did you use for the white? Celestra Gray. Gray. Sorry. So the same one. So you went with the Celestra, yeah. Celestra Gray. Okay. It's like it's an off white. Okay. So it's <clears throat> not it's it's not gray gray. Right. Oh, okay. That's actually good to know because I'm I've made a mistake of doing pure white. Oh no. So. All the whites that I've ever gotten from GW, they've all, they've all been dry, like right out, like straight. Yeah, the they can definitely get chalky. Hmm. So this is trash. <laughs> really, ceramite white? Okay. Yeah. Why do you say that? Every, it's it's. So I got the uh, what is it? The box set of paints. Okay. You know, it has like 12 paints or something. Mm -hmm. And Ceramite was in there. It was a brand new box. Excuse me. Took the Ceramite, Ceramite white out and mm -hmm. it was already dried out. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then I took <laughs> it back to GW. Uh, you know, he super cool store manager. He, uh, he he switched it out for another one. It was dried out as well. So I was like, all right, you know what, man? I'm wow. not going to take all your whites. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> wow. Well, you oh. shouldn't be taking all of his whites because it's not right to own people. Right. Just brown people. <laughs> That's what I use, dead white. Wow. Yep. Yeah. What? Wow. <laughs> wow. What? What, 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 Satan? <laughs> Who else has a fiery red ass IQ, man? What? what? Wow. <laughs> yeah, I can say that. I'm brown. <laughs> All right, so ah. now I'll just get some of that red. <laughs> Put some just on the tip. What? What are you using? Red. Okay, why, where are you? Why? Why? Where are you putting red at? By the nose? No, you'll see in a little bit. There we go. Leave me in suspense. Chilling Wargamer says, yes, on the boys, how y'all oh, doing? Really? So you put it on the that, tongue? From that opening, is that our man Spud? <clears throat> the Nation pops up as Elsa Nation. Chilling Wargamers. Hey, man. Hey, I, uh, I stopped by uh, this week on their uh, live stream. Awesome. I was in the conference all week, so I wasn't able to yeah, jump on. I got I got to say hi, man. It was so cool. That's awesome. I, I did. I did toss it out there that you know we're going to be doing the Friends of the UK uh, stream on Saturdays, and uh, we definitely want them on. So, yeah, they got excited. I, hopefully, uh, Spud will be able to jump on there with both of them. So, yeah. that'll be cool, especially since we had to cancel on the last one. I know. Hopefully we can make it up. Oh man, dude, that looks great, bro. See, so, yeah, I got dude. some red in there for the tongue. But yeah. You can hardly see it because it's all the way in there. You can kind of see it. <laughs> so, uh, here comes the pupil. <laughs> <clears throat> so, it is Spud. Nice. Awesome. Good to see you, Spud. Nice. Good morning, my man. Sweet. What's going on, brother? So here's a little hobby hobby okay. hack. Okay. Ooh, hobby hack. You're doing when you're doing pupils. You don't have to use paint. Oh, you told me about that. The marker. Yeah. The ink bar off the marker. Spoilers. Micron pen. Right. I gotta get that. I gotta get the freaking. Holy it's crap! It's really thin. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Micron O2. <clears throat> yep. Uh, but I think this one's a little bit too big for that for this head. Uh, for, for the eyes. eyes. Okay. Yeah, I think. Uh, so what do you think? You're gonna try to do. Uh, let me see. Yeah, it's too big for it. Okay. Yeah, I'll just. If he comes out looking derpy, 
It's meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> it's meant to be. It's derpy derp. Alright, so let me get some of that black. Hell works by Hell Child says Celestra Gray tricks the eye. It does. <clears throat> Ronnie Bear says, yeah. Yep, love the pen. Go ahead, man. So right. I need I'm, to get I'm just going to use Abaddon Black. Okay. Of the size as possible. Yeah. You know, I have... Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. I bought a, I bought a six-pack. If you guys want one, I got plenty. A six-pack of what, Bubba? Uh, my pens. Oh, right. Nice. Yeah, good. Yeah, when I get with you on uh, get, picking up the... Um, the pallet. Um, yeah. I'll give you a couple bucks for it too, man. I'm not gonna be dry, so. Nah, don't worry about it. <laughs> Brother Rob says the point oh oh five micron pen is perfect size for eyes. Hmm. That is really tiny. <laughs> you could probably stab somebody without even knowing. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't even remember why I bought those pens. I was painting something, mm -hmm. but I just can't remember what it was. Hmm. I remember now. It was when I was painting that Death Watch. Uh, is it Artemis? Oh, yeah. That's why I got it. Just so I could go over the lettering on the parchment paper. Mm. Oh, nice. All right, let's go. Oh, boy. Yeah, so anyway, I brought it up um, and. Since I know Spud's going to be busy for the first couple of weekends here, probably the first two, three weekends, whatever. But I said, since we're going to kind of try to try to do it consistently every month, he's definitely game. So um, we just try to, if we can try to uh, coordinate it, uh, both him and Elston will be able to jump on. I think I'll be cool. really, really cool. I'm super, super stoked about that. So a couple of shout outs here, first of all. Yeah. In a few weeks, we're, we're still ironing out the details, but it, and I don't want to say the date just yet in case something comes up. Right on. But here in a couple of weeks, we have planned on doing our first UK friendly one, and we will be working with man, myth, and legend himself, Big Mac Dansko. Big Mac. Big Mac. Definitely one of our old school brothers. Man. Go with way back. Old... Back way back. Yep. So that'll be cool. And of course, we know we definitely would love to work with the Chilling War oh, Game. Oh man! Um, yep. Uh, yep. It came out looking derpy. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, brother. I can't see it. Uh, and we we definitely got to have a makeup session with the King Edict oh, Beer. Oh, we got to because we so jacked that up bad, man. Oh, I'm still feel sorry, feel, feel so bad about that. Well, um, you know what? Doesn't look that bad. <laughs> Awesome, dude. Uh, so, uh, Chili Born Gamer says, Love you all, boys. Uh, gotta go. Big loves. Big loves back, my man. And really looking forward to, to doing a collab really soon. I, I'm really excited about that. Uh, Big love and, you. And can't wait to come on the show, lads. Absolutely, man. I can't wait. I think we're gonna we're gonna break the internet. I'm, I'm telling you, it's gonna happen. <laughs> Running Bear. The internet. I'm not sure we're as powerful as... Kim K's oh, behind. we are. Hey, we. Hey, Mythos. <laughs> Have you seen that behind? I yeah, but I mean, Mythos. You know, Chippendales. Okay. All right. That, that's all I gotta say. Chippendales. Okay. We got this. We got this. You just kind of, you know, do a little just slide there. Happen. Just let it happen. Let it happen. <clears throat> Running Bear says. Also, a cheap trick with the Micron Pen is you can use them to highlight the tanks. If you are using light colored paints. Interesting. <laughs> dude, I'm that looks much done here. freaking fantastic, dude. Oh, oh, your interconnection. It, it's up. Wait, there we go. It's up, it's up. Dude, that looks great. Can you put your purple glove behind it again like you did before? Oh, wow, okay. There you go, Mika. Turn it to the front, facing forward. Dude, that's so nice. Hey, girl. Okay, so a and couple I love yeah. the hollow below the cheekbone. <laughs> yes. Really done a great job popping out that detail. Yes. The scars, the wrinkles. That's awesome. So a couple of takeaways that I that I got on here, right? Is 
you you took your time. You didn't rush it. Um, it's gonna get a little. Sorry, it's gonna get a little dark here. There we go. Yeah. Um, and I I like that you did multiple layers. In my problem is I tr I rushed them out. I would do one or two layers and that's it. But this right here, you thin your paints. Uh, you do it with a wet uh, a wet palette, and you do multiple multiple layers. You went four approximately four layers, um, and then. And you slowly started working up the uh, the shadow, and you worked up the highlights just very, very lightly. That's very well done. I never thought about doing the dot on the tongue, um, and my biggest problem that I've that I've I can tell you right now is I use dead white for the eyes and for the teeth, and that just makes it look like he's just. You, you know, looks so fake. While you have the gray, I don't know. Dead white's an off-white, like uh, dead white's not off-white. No, no, that's that's my problem. Is I use dead white instead of something off-white. Uh, no, dead white's not a solid white, though. Dead white? Yeah, dead white is freaking white. It's like super white. Uh, my Vallejo dead white. Yeah. Yeah, that, I thought yeah. that was like. That was, I thought it was like white. Green, that white. is that is white. That is as white as, yeah. I, and that's just it. The celestial gray, right, is what you yeah. use. So yep. that's that's nicely toned down, a good bit from from. Because if you compare, you 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 put them side by side, and you can see that's uh, um, what do you call it? Dead white. It's just very very bright, man. It's just compared to that uh, celestial gray. <clears throat> And that, I don't, Lester Gray is what I use for white, and it's pretty bright. I, it will see. I mean, you know. Yeah. It, it might work better for you. Yeah, I, I might have to try it. I might see if I can just tone it down. <clears throat> yeah, I did the same technique for my orc. Okay. Oh, hold it up so we, <laughs> Atomic Dog will love that. <clears throat> Wag. <laughs> My age is Sigmar. Cool. It's picking up your face more than the model. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Take that. <clears throat> Talk to the hand face. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you are a legend, man. Yeah, I really great work. Cannot man. tell you how awesome that that was, and I'm glad that it's on our it's on the archive because I'm going to go review it again uh, when I'm ready to do some faces, dude. I'm super super stoked. Love it, bro. That it actually gave me a lot to work with, and yeah. I, I can't wait to start working with a wet palette. I'm I'm that's that's a must. I gotta I gotta do that. Yeah, so. and plus you don't have to use the <laughs> colors that I used. You can use like yeah um what whatever skin tone you want to do sure because I, I think i've shown you a picture of the salamander mm -hmm. that i did yep <clears throat> yeah well i like the fact that you start off with black and i'm thinking okay surely that's not gonna work it's but you made well, it work the only reason i'm using yeah. black because that's the only primary color that i have okay i haven't actually gone and <laughs> replaced my gray Primer. But would you would you would you replace it? I mean, would you would you use something else besides black? Because that seemed to work really well because it, it's translucent and it gave you those those deep dark you know shadings. Yeah. Uh, so the did I send you guys the pictures of the wolfen that I'm working on? Yes. Yeah. So those were primed with gray. Okay. That's I used the last bit of my gray on, okay. on that wolfing uh, squad, but yeah, that they they look just as good with the with these black primer <laughs> ones. But do you go back with a wash? No. Okay. Speaking of which, um, I sent you uh, brother Running Bear um, sent over a picture of um, one of his faces. I think on a wolf, and he did. I think oh. it's a wolf. My it's a space wolf. Okay, let's see. And uh, his technique of using inks to sh uh, to do the faces. You sent it to me by messenger. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> I 
that the last one you sent me? Yep. Okay. Looks like a space wolf leader of some sort. Okay. Here it is. Come on, catch up. Internet. You know you want to. You know you want to. You know you and I can definitely see what Running Bear was talking about, how those inks get into all the the crevices of the face and really pop right. out those details. Right. Yeah. Very nice, sir. Very nice. I like that eye glow. Yeah, very cool eye glow. Very nice. You're very nice. You're very nice. <laughs> I w you know, when I first started painting faces, I did use washes, but since I started doing this, I haven't used washes. Oh. <laughs> that's interesting. And, and I'm sure that's because you don't need to wash the um, shades in because you're applying them manually. Right, right. With all that's those uh, uh, color right. blending. Yeah. Yeah, because you're using the red. And the blue. And the blue. Get all in the inside, and then red for the blush. Yeah, that works. Hmm. So yeah, uh, yeah, people do a similar effect by using the multicolored washes, like a red, you yep. know, red wash, purple wash. Right. But I think you applying them manually like that is actually, you know, probably really beneficial, yeah. and probably gives you a lot more control than you know <laughs> trying to to basically spill a liquid into the right spots. Right. Yep. I don't mean that if if that's the way you do your faces i don't mean that in a derogatory way because that's the way i paint my faces too <laughs> you know i you know I, I go in with a flesh color and then i wash it and then i highlight it but i'm just saying this is just like a seems like a more controlled take on that um uh, inquisitor zane says thoughts of the marines i did mythos i mean let me go back and pull up what i got but i from what I can tell, you're doing an awesome job. Let me pull up painting challenge chat. Holy crap, Richard has started the freehand on that Titan he's working on. That's cool. Oh, man. <laughs> Wizard of Saints says, my faces are just a skin color and a wash. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to go and watch the stream. <laughs> yeah, me too, bro. Me too. And I actually watched it already. I mean, I, I'm I'm here, so but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna it's, oh uh, yeah yeah I'm gonna favorite it, because I'm telling you I I'm I'm like Dory you know I was like what what's my name? <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying, there's real there's really no like right number of layers for you to do when it comes to the highlights. All right. It's just whatever you feel is right. Hold if on. you if like one layer you see it and you're like all right that looks good, that's it. Huh. Or if you're like, all right, I'm going to do another layer. Or maybe another layer. Right. Maybe do four layers. So, Mephiston, I think the... the I use different colors. I use that uh, palette white flesh. Okay. Or witch flesh. <laughs> however you pronounce it. <laughs> uh, that's the base color. And then it's next skin tone, which is... Uh, let's see... I don't know where it is. Hey, gone. I need to organize my paints. Well, anyways, <laughs> if you look on the GW <laughs> color app, it's the next, the the lighter tone. I got it. Mythos, I figured it out. I figured, figured, I figured it out. Notice that all of these amazing painters have something in common. We look precious? No, I, I said amazing <laughs> painters. I said amazing. Amazing. Amazing painters. I, I have they long have, said that you are the better painter, my they, brother. They have They have amazing beards. See? <laughs> it's it's like they they all have them. I look at that. He's got he's got the the whole Elstination thing going on there. Dude. <laughs> 
I figured it out. Mythos, we gotta grow beard, bro. We, I gotta, gotta, I gotta get on the horn. You I've been to told us. I can't go past <laughs> this goatee. Oh, as well, far as I'm allowed to go. I'm gonna try again. I gotta do it because I, I do know that if I, if, if I succeed at growing a beard, then I would be a, a great, great painter. Must be. That's my theory. There we go. So I take that back. It's Ricard's flesh. That's the base color. Okay. That I use. Mm. That I use for Mephisto. Okay. Nice. And then it, the other one, I can't find the other one, but the high, like the brightest color that I used was pallid. <laughs> Witch flesh or white flesh. Inquisitor is saying or says, "Oh, Oni Chan." May I consume some of your beard hair? Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's been he's been trying to get some Elsa Nation beard hair. I like Pallid Witch Flesh. Pallid Witch <laughs> Flesh is a good color. But it's, it's just whatever, whatever, however many layers you want to do, it's whatever looks good to you. There's real no, like, right number, yeah. number of layers. Mythos, I have to wrap up, brother. Do we have an Elsa Nation? <laughs> that look says it all. The funny thing is, is that I had one oh, when we came uh, into the stream, and I didn't write it down. Oh, dang it. he's thinking of one right now. <laughs> I honestly had one when we came in because I was going to play off of uh, <clears throat> Chaplin Emo's autograph request. I didn't write this shit down. <laughs> awesome. Um, you know, but I gave two Elsa Nation facts last week, so I'm still caught up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Way to leave it. Oh, <laughs> Atomic Dogs is crap, Mythos. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Speaking of which, I hope he's feeling better. Last week again, it was his birthday, and he wasn't feeling well, and uh, at a tournament all day. So I hope he's doing better now. Who's that, uh, Elston? Yep. Oh yeah, he is doing well. Uh, I got like I said, I got to chat with him. He he even commented on the fact that you know he just needs to feel better, and he just feels better. <laughs> and he goes, <laughs> and he, that's right? awesome, right? And then he just right. So I just think, well, well, dang it. I'll feel better then. <laughs> <laughs> I um the next day after our live stream I put up that uh that clip of um how I met your mother in um on our Facebook page and said, Yep, from our Friday night live chat. <laughs> um, <laughs> Nerd Life says just mute him as punishment. <laughs> I've been wanting to do that all all stream there, uh, Richard. <laughs> I like that atomic dog one. <laughs> it's the last comment. <laughs> Elston fact. When Elston signs an autograph, the ink magically grows beer hair <laughs> for the beard list. <laughs> I like that. I like, I that, like a that lot. I like that too. That is officially that, that number is 33. A 33, 100%. True Elston Nation fact. Hold on. We need to do it <clears throat> with the right music. So let's kill Oh, wrong one. Wait. There we go. Crank that up. Elstination fact number 30. What is it? 33? 33. 33. When Elstination signs an autograph, the ink magically grows beard hair for the beardless. And there you go. 100%. <laughs> True, true Elstonation Elstonation fact number fact 33. 33. Join us next week for 100% true Elstonation <laughs> fact number 34. Yes. And you yeah. know what I love about this is that's how this tradition got started. Yep. Was uh, Archer started it in the chat and then the chat kept going with it. <laughs> and next thing you know, we had weekly Elstonation facts. Right. So honestly, Brother Brian just perpetuated the tradition He here. breaks. He did. It's almost like, okay, you familiar with a king cake? The one that gets the baby gets to buy the next king cake. There you That's go. not like that at all. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. So. <laughs> also. But you don't eat the king. You don't eat the baby, though. You just. 
that that's still a really creepy tradition it's a real tradition a real tradition I, you know oh i know yeah. oh i know i i honestly <laughs> thought because my my wife grew up in louisiana too yep i honestly thought she made it up <laughs> i was like you're lying no, no, really, it's true. You, you, you eat until your mouth bites down onto a plastic baby. Until your like, mouth bites down on a baby. On a plastic baby, baby. Wow. yeah. And you're like, you spit it out. I guess I'm buying the next cake. <laughs> That's how it goes. <laughs> yep. And you bust the teeth. <clears throat> don't kick the baby. <laughs> you know, it's funny because another one of his favorite phrases is don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. No, yes. just bake it into a king cake. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, Freak, while you do your closing thoughts, I'm going to go tuck my youngest down. Okay? Absolutely. Man, I had an absolute blast. This is this lived up to my very expectations, my man. And I'm so, so excited. I'm glad that you were able to come on uh, on the show tonight, man. And you know what? I, I like to have you back. Um, you know, and I'm sure the, the chat would like you to. I'd like you back to uh, perhaps to something else that, man, you can. Uh, Give us a little training tri uh, tips, you know, some really cool uh, tutorials and other things that you do. We love that Mephiston. That thing's going to be a winner, dude. I'm telling you, you're going to crush tomorrow. <laughs> you're going to kill. Screw those guys if they don't think so, right? So I'm just telling you right now, you killed it. You freaking crushed it, bro. So you're going to you get at least place, but I really think you ought, you ought to win at least. At least, dude, at least third, second place, bro. I mean, yeah, it's a gorgeous. It's a gorgeous model. You did great with the combination of colors, man. Uh, beautiful, beautiful work. Um, and I really, really appreciate you coming on, man. And uh, I mean, this this was this was so cool. Um, Running Bear says, "Yeah, you did a good job tonight, all around, Ani. You sure as hell did, man." Um, and like I said, want you back. Want to, want to see more tutorials. And I want to encourage you. To um, to yeah, man. If if you're up to it, get that channel going, man. Ch get your yeah, like, uh, YouTube. Like I said uh, that Saturday, I was gonna use this as yep. like a uh, like a test run. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, man. Absolutely. You know, and any help you want, you need from us, we're, we're happy to happy to help you. You know. Um. So yeah. Uh, miniature paintbrush. Rob says good night, everyone. Good luck, Ani. Thank you. Um, Good yeah. night to you too. Let's so. talk about that. How did you feel about your test run? What do you f think of being a streamer or a, you know, content creator? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was it was it wasn't that bad. Uh, Not a that little bad. Bit short. Wow, that's a little, little bit that's, short. <laughs> that's a little positive, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, I just gotta gotta get better equipment. You know. I mean, stuff. actually, a lot of uh, content creators on YouTube, especially in our hobby community, run their Every channels phone. on high-end phones. Like, yep. you know, you've got the second to latest iPhone. That's what a, one of the things a lot of people use. Yep. In fact, some of our friends actually do all of their editing and everything <clears throat> on an iPhone. Phone. Yep. Okay. So something but we can, to consider. I mean, I mean you know, if you just want to wait until you get, you know, more, yeah. better equipment, you can. But yeah, um, I'm just saying it doesn't necessarily have to be a barrier. Yeah, the cool thing about the community is that those, those who are on the uh, on YouTube, we 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 definitely help each other out. You know, we give advice as to what equipment you might want to pick up. And look, man, we're we're ballers on a budget. <laughs> we <laughs> we straight up are, man. <laughs> you know, we run a C uh, the the Logic Cam uh, C20s. Uh, or 920s rather, C920s or 922s. Those are great. They're not that expensive. And they get a great, great picture. They at 10, 1080, you know, P. So you could pick them up dirt cheap on Amazon, man. You know. So. <laughs> also, we'll that go ahead and you know, talk to our Facebook <laughs> invite into the War uh, Gamers Unification Group, and you know, we all give each other advice on cameras and stuff like that, or editing software, or <laughs> You know, we sub to each other. It's a pretty cool little group. Dude, what the <laughs> hell is running? Dude, Running Bear is getting the bug from, from Quizzer Zane. For a minute, he says, for a minute there, I thought Mythos was going to say, how do you feel about being a squirter? <laughs> what? <laughs> you said, 
of um, I, I, I a know streamer. What I'm right, I'm right. Inquisitors in his comments. <laughs> <laughs> they make money to fund stuff through their orphan fight club. He said he'll supply the orphans. <laughs> This is what happens, oh, dude. Boy. Our chat, our chat just goes to <laughs> hell in a handbasket right here, bro. <laughs> what the... uh, oh, what at happened? Tom, Atomic Dog. Now he just woke up. Squirter? What the hell? What happened? <laughs> Stuff. Stuff happened. Inquisitor Zane says he will supply the orphans, Mythos. Uh, just, just for the Fight Club. Uh, <laughs> they can't uh, tell anyone. Who are they going to tell? Their parents. <laughs> 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 wow! <laughs> oh, d wow! <laughs> Running face is okay. Sorry, sometimes I slip a little. <laughs> wow! Oh, dude, this, this chat's unhinged, man. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Game over, man. Game over. <laughs> but yeah, I'll uh. <clears throat> Any other closing thoughts, Oni, my man? No, it's just I'm I'm really glad you guys had me on on the stream. You know, had had a blast, had a blasty blast. <laughs> awesome, man. You definitely, you know, we're a cool uh, brother to hang out with. So you know, we definitely would like to have you on again sometime. Yeah. <clears throat> um, and freak, we still need a schedule of that I game. I know. <laughs> I it's know. been a year and a half since we've been trying to get year. to. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, not that, um, not that, uh, I'm trying to interrupt y'all's game, but, uh, I definitely, you know, I mean, Freak and I play each other all the time, but I, I definitely love a game too. <laughs> well, we could do a free for all. <laughs> hey, yeah. We can do that. Yeah. Like we did with, um, Brother Lars, yep, and then a three, the a comment dropped right in Freak's backyard. <laughs> yeah, that was, <laughs> that was a lot of fun. That was a fun one, but oh man, yeah, he, was... Lars, Lars took us out, man. Lars was just oh yeah, he he put a whooping on us, dude. It took out a couple of tanks in one shot, man. Oh my wow. god, yeah, dude, he was just on fire. He was using his sisters. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> ooh, that, that was, was um extra uh, Exorc uh, exorcist, the exorcist. Exorcist tanks, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Ooh, man, they do some damage. Oh, ugly, dude. Totally nasty. Uh, but yeah, it was a good game. That's actually a fun, a fun uh, to do for with three, uh, three man party. So yeah, it could kind of be like a narrative thing since yep. my main is world year, so Moilus yeah. against chaos. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, we... I mean, you can bring either of your chaos armies. Yeah. So yeah, let's 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 try to let's try to make that happen then. Let's uh, let's try to figure out a Especially good Saturday. I've been telling Freak, I'm itching for a game. Yeah, me too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we need to do that, man. Uh, you know, uh, we figure out where we want to play, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll go from there. Right, cool. cool. Yeah. Guys, All right, guys. Tonight, a couple, um, mm -hmm. a couple more details, but um, I'm pretty much there with the repulsor. Hey, dude. Nice. Dude, you crushed the Oh, yeah, the light, need, uh, what is that, black on the uh, back there? What's what? On the yellow? Is yeah. that what, what you that? added, the, the black? What you, yeah, is it okay. dark? Is that on the yellow? On the yellow, Mythos? Oh, yeah. so I just did the straps that are holding it to the tank in black. Okay, nice. Um, but also, uh, while we were doing the stream, it's kind of hard to tell from the camera here, but I took some Vallejo Beastly Brown. And I put down a wet coat of um, Averland Sunset and spent the stream wet blending kind of from this corner up with the Averland Sunset of Beastly Brown. And then I went back and re-wet the Averland Sunset and took some Flash Gets Yellow and blended it this way. So I have nice. kind of a fade going from the brighter yellow here to this brownish yellow down here. Very nice, dude. And I did that. <laughs> See that's one thing I can't get right. It's web blending. I, I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> you know, it's, I, I, I gotta say I was inspired by the weather pig because I used to do web blending a lot more often, especially for like uh, power weapons and stuff like that. Um, and that was a skill I learned pretty early on. Actually, as a result of getting frustrated with airbrushing, and I'm like, you know what? Screw this going. <laughs> but now that I actually am somewhat okay with an airbrush, I have to admit I've been kind of, you know not not been doing a whole lot of uh, wet blending 
But Callum uh, over at Weatherpig has done a quite a, you know quite a few videos lately on wet blending. So I don't know, it just kind of gave me a little little motivation instead of just having these. And I didn't want these to just be, be flat yellow containers, you know. And just sometimes yellow is a color that can stand out being too bold and too mm -hmm. flat. So I wanted to give it a little visual interest by adding in the shading with some wet blending. That works, man. Thank you. Yep. All right. Well, so my closing thoughts was I'm so glad. I think my biggest takeaways from your, I know Freak talked about some of his favorite takeaways. Uh, using red in the skin tone for the natural blush effect was huge for me. And I've already, actually, I was already using blues underneath my skin tones for some of the recesses, kind of like, um, you know, the uh, how, um, you know, that uh, blue purpley kind of effect underneath the skin, like cooling blood and whatnot. So I was already kind of using that in some of my recesses with an imperial blue from Vallejo. Uh, what I would do is um, kind of do that as my base coat before starting. Instead of a black tone, I would go from a dark blue tone. So kind of cool to see some of the same uh, kind of theory there, but doing the red for that natural blushy effect is going to help. Also, a big takeaway for me is... Um, that when you uh, did your your skin tones, I like the the multiple layers and getting to see exactly because I watch it in tutorials before and sometimes it just doesn't register for me because they're going kind of fast. But actually getting to see and you kept repeating it, thankfully, you know the brow, the ridge of the brow, the cheekbone specifically. Um, those are all spots that I and the nose you know, kind of the T-zone, kind of the look for when I'm doing highlights. Yeah. You see on the bald head where you were, because <clears throat> around purpose is kind of, you know, difficult for me to figure where am I, there are no edge, like, you know, with the ridges here, you can kind of aim for a line. Yeah. But seeing what you were doing with that bald head and kind of just guessing where the highlights were for me was always a struggle, but seeing what you were doing, I think was a big help there. So I appreciate you doing that. Yeah, it's Another no problem. Another big takeaway for me is, God, there's some cool Admech stuff coming up that I need yep. for my armies. And that White Scar in Terminator armor, oh, it just looks so cool. So I'm excited for some new stuff to come out. Getting a lot of love, Steve, on the chat, man. Uh, everybody's uh, uh, Brian at uh, Atomic Dog says, you're a cool dude. Um, Running Bear, this is such a good group of hobbyists. Glad you're all family now. Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Get some vids up. Yeah, people are definitely voting for a an Oni Studios channel. Yep, definitely. How it's much are you credits? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's ready to go to bed. <laughs> um, wet blend with oil paints. A tip from Rob. Oil paints have a longer dry time, so it's good for practicing your wet blending. Play around with it a little longer. Okay. Oni Chan, would you be interested in joining our planned 40K tuber hub account? <laughs> This is such a good group of hobbyists. Like you said, I, I just realized you just said that. It is amazing to see the progress over the years from the basics to now building up to the structure, un, uh, understructure of the flesh. Simply amazing. So much progress made over the years. It's a great job. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Jimbo Fett. I think this is my first time seeing your comment, man. Glad to have you with us. Absolutely, man. Sorry catching us at the tail end, but glad you're here anyway. Uh, also, um, Brian, before we go, last closing thought. Did you see that they teased new Gasgol? I'm sure you're pretty excited about that. New Gasgol, big old orc coming out. All right, that's my last thing. Oh, it's oh, it's James, brother James. Good to see you, my brother. Good to see you, my man. Glad to see you're okay, man. Okay. All right, guys. If you like this episode, I like make it. sure I like that you give, me some, the give me some time, Zane. <laughs> <laughs> and smash that like button in the name of the Emperor. Oh, God. Drop us some comments down below if you're watching from the archives and feel free to be part of any of these ridiculous conversations or give us some thoughts on our first uh, tutorial in our live chat because uh, we're definitely inclined to do some more of these. This was pretty fun. 
if you guys are interested in any ways you can support us, go check us out on Patreon. And while we do that, I want to thank our Patreon. Absolutely. Oh my God, we have so many now that I actually have to look up a list. So I'm really, really pleased with that. Because <laughs> I am prepared. <laughs> um, but seriously, I want to thank. Uh, you know what? I think Zane's a siege disciple. <laughs> <laughs> Coalition of a rebel. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Alright, anyway, so we have our Blood Claw levels. We have Blood Claw Big Mech Dancehall. Future guest on the channel, by the way. We have Blood Claw Atomic Dog. We have Blood Claw Running Bear. We have Blood Claw Big D. We have our Grey Hunters, Brother Roxas. We have Grey Hunter, Inquisitor Zay. And of course, we have the ever smashing captain, Archer! Archer! Nacho! Sorry, Ron. We really appreciate your support. Like I said, if you're interested in ways that you can support us, feel free to jump <laughs> over to our Patreon as well. Check it out. And if you guys are not yet subscribed to this channel, and be prepared to subscribe to our man Oni in the future. Hey, yeah. But if you're not yet subscribed, we would love to have you as part of the pack here on the Frost and Fist. Until next time, guys. Stay frosty, dude. Bye! Bye.